That's just the THX logo. Now we're going. Now we're going. Now we're on. Yeah, I, I muted us just to make extra sure that our audio wasn't going through. And Sam was like telling us. me the login password to the official Whitest Kids Twitch account. He was and then dreaming was like, it. Oh, he was fuck. Like, Sam, no. <laughs> oh, shit. Can everyone hear everyone all right? Let's just get that out of the way. How is everybody? We're doing it. This feels strange. I'm not going to lie. I'm glad to be back, and it's great to see you guys, but it does feel weird. Little little something about ourselves. Uh, uh, the, the comedy troupe, as a business, has been named for, for since the, the beginning. We thought it would be funny to call it Whitest Kids Business Company International Conglomerate, LLC. And the funny thing about right now is this is an international stream. This is actually like the really the first time we've been what? international. Yeah, because Timmy's in South Dakota. <laughs> <laughs> and they have succeeded. Right? <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, yeah, Darren's in London. So I, I guess so you guys have been streaming on Friday nights, right? Is that is that true? Uh, well, Friday, Friday night for me, but afternoon for Sam. Yeah. Cool. All right. Yeah. yeah. So I guess it's like uh, early evening on the East Coast. And how many but times have you been there? I, like three? like three or four times. Yeah. Cool. Three or four times. Yeah. All right. Yeah. It's, so is it kind of like the Newsboys format where it's just you two kind of shooting the shit? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it started as a chess stream. We started by <laughs> yes. playing chess. And really? I won all and the we, games. We realized that was a terrible idea. <laughs> yeah, because that doesn't sound fun to watch. We're just focused on the game and not talking, and everyone's like, hello. <laughs> Chat is just <laughs> like, you guys stop. Okay, Kurt's um, wife, what's up? How are you? I missed you too. <clears throat> it's good to see everybody. Um, did Zach go out to Detroit for reshoots? I did. I was. That's where I got this hat. Um... Mm. What does your hat say? I can't yeah, read we, it. It says Scotty Simpson's Fish and Chips, Detroit, Michigan. It's this. In the, so we shot in this neighborhood, Brightmoor, which is like where that's where there's a few neighborhoods like this, but that's one of the neighborhoods where like the houses are just gone, right? They're just like all abandoned and it's it's insane. Um, and uh, there in the main road, there's like some businesses that are still functioning. There's some houses that are still functioning. It's like kind of a beautiful place, but um this is where we ate every day that we were there. It's like this little fish and chips mom and pop joint in like the middle of Brightmoor, which is crazy. Oh, nice. Uh -huh. But it was red. Cool. Yeah. Oh, very cool. <laughs> another, another, uh, a little bit of housekeeping. Uh, Twitch started a, a thing where you can have free emotes on your free for people who are just followers they don't even have to sub and they get emotes and so i've introduced the emotes that say i am poor and gift me a sub uh <laughs> and, you made you made these emotes yeah yeah and there's another one that says wanna be yeah. doll yeah. there's one that says wanna be doll liquor that one's kind of hard to read and it has oh, an there error there you go gift oh, me oh yeah sub. look at them there there they are Oh yeah. Kiss also, me subs. I am poor. That's funny. <laughs> also, Atomic um, Maku is poor. Everybody. Also, uh, uh, um, <laughs> uh, I, I'm blanking. Sorry. I, I, uh, uh, that's. Oh, they took away the the cum bucket again, 
And so we had to replace it with a new emote that's called white paint. Wait, how do they know it's cum? I think it was called coom bucket. <laughs> like C O O M? Yeah. Or and like you with an umlaut? It was something like that. I think it was like they it was thinly veiled. But now it's white paint. It's just a, a emote of white paint. It's a completely different it's emote. It's like a so. bunch of root beers. That's what I see. Yeah. But I like them. Yeah, like <laughs> uh, we all know deep in our hearts that's jizz. And that's what matters. And then yes. one um, or two more things. I We added badges. So we used to just have the whitest kids badge for if you subbed. Now, depending on how long you sub, you can get uh, a yellow, pink, bronze, silver, gold. So gold cool. people are the, the year-long subbers. Uh, Very cool. And then also there's two animated emotes that I, I played around with that I, I made. Right. Uh, it's Timmy Dude, getting shot in the, the head. and It's wait, who getting shot in the head? Timmy getting shot in the head and uh, cool. skate skate fall Sam, and he like cries. Oh, right. you love skate fall. Well, I was just playing around That's with the emotes that we have. I'm fucking with you, dude. I know it's it is funny. <laughs> um, that's cool. So hey, Timmy's hey, at look, a basketball it's, game. It's hard to see, but Timmy's eyes go like from forward to up at the bullet shot after he. Oh yeah, yeah. Cool. <coughs> um, so, so what else, dude? What's Darren? How's London, man? Yeah, it's good. Um, there's like uh, foxes everywhere, which I didn't know. Like much, like how LA has coyotes, uh, London has foxes, like oh. everywhere. Like, in, like literally in two, city, two in the hours middle of ago, I was. Yeah, just like, like I was looking out my front window at a fox, like just walking around in the street, hanging out. We were calling out to it, like little red fox with a white tail. Um, wow. Very much reminds me of like the coyotes in LA, like just walking around. It's like not a big deal uh, to see them. Yeah. Crazy. But today was, or yesterday was Guy Fox Day. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. 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 So tonight we went to a festival where we, it was like a huge bonfire where there's like a wooden Guy Fox or whatever and like, that burned and then threw a bunch of fireworks and yeah. There's and does like, the Guy you know, Fox Festival attract kind of like a fringe ultra right wing sort of a person? No, no, no. It's just a bunch of people who want to go like eat some sausage and like watch some fireworks and hang out. It's not That's like cool. anonymous yeah. hanging out. It wasn't out. a specific type of person that was there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, did Drake show up and then eight Drake people died? No. Wait, did that happen? Is that a thing? Uh, I hate to hate to laugh okay. at it. Uh, it's quite tragic. Uh, there was a concert, a, a, a Travis Scott concert in Dallas, and there was a surprise appearance from Drake, and so everyone rushed the stage, and hundreds got injured, eight people died. Hmm. Timmy says, FYI, Timmy texted. He says, FYI, my app still says surprise Tuesday stream. Hmm. And then Timmy texted again. He said, still got to get set up and stuff, so it might take me a bit. Also, going to rub one out before I hop on, so that'll take 20. Why Why does it take I hate when he so shares much? that stuff with us. Yeah. yeah. He says, been also, real like, horny lately He also since like, everything happened. Does a lot of self foreplay too. It takes him a while. He he like lights yeah. candles and stuff, and yeah. it's this whole process. He's like the sadder I get, the hornier I get. So it's been a real jack fest over here. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, I'm so tired of using my daughter shampoo to jerk off with. <laughs> guys, okay. So my old roommate name starts with a B. You know who I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this is so fucked up I might have told this on Newsboys but I don't think I did um, when he was like 13 he uh, he was taking a shower at his mom's house and you know he's 13 years old he's horny and so he took the uh, he took the cap off of a shampoo bottle and he started he was fucking the shampoo bottle and his dick got stuck in it like, I guess, like, the something about the suction or whatever, like, every thrust, it was, like, getting more, like, air was leaving it. 
Sam's making a face like this is how we get banned from Twitch. <laughs> no, um, no, no. I was actually just thinking that. I'm like, that's kind of a skinny dick. If you're sticking your 13. dick in a sh- He's uh, 13. Yeah. And maybe it was one of those like big, you know, Walmart or whatever, Costco, Kirkland Signature mega jugs. I don't know. But anyway, yeah. here's what happened. And uh, he was fucking it and it got stuck. And he was like freaking out and he like couldn't get it off. It was like the suction was like so, so thing. And finally, he just like, he like yanked it off, right? And it hurt like really, really bad. His dick was like super red. He was like, he went to bed. It was super sensitive. When he woke up the next morning, he said his dick was like twice its normal size and all of the outer skin had like shed off and he had purple spots all over it. It had like shed its skin. It's like Amazing. all scar tissue, yeah, right? Or I don't <laughs> That's know. So fucked up. Uh, yeah. I thought <laughs> I mean, you were gonna say like his his dick looked like a, a mold of the inside of the shampoo cap. Yeah, and it said per plus <laughs> to this day backwards <laughs> on his dick. Yeah. Tattoo. lessons. Uh, is it that that's that's what they say about Someone's those? Like, Zach, those I miss penis. you, man. This is the kind of quality <laughs> Zach content that you cannot get on the other streams, dude. Uh, that's yeah. what they they say about those penis pumps is that they like they like temporarily engorge your dick, I guess. Like, right. but like For it's not. It doesn't. Do it, it, no, yeah, it's, it's it, temporary. Shred your dick. <laughs> What he should have done is like walk. He should have wrapped a towel around himself with with the bottle still on. Gone down to the kitchen, you know, like, excuse me, excuse me. Got a knife, gone back into the bathroom, punctured the bottle, releasing the air. Then he could have slid it right off. You know, if he should have called me, I would have, I would have helped him. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're the guy. You guys are you guys I know this. Twitter, I feel like I'm making a lot of sense right now, dude. I know this. I know that if my dick gets stuck somewhere, the you first person I'm gonna call. You call is me. That. I will. I will. <laughs> we're gonna get through this together, Sam. All right. Hang on. <laughs> Let me go get comfortable. Put on my like headset. All right. I got. I got YouTube at my fingertips. I'm gonna figure this out. Um, yeah. Somebody said, Zach, when does your movie come out? I don't know. It's too early to say. It's not even done yet. We're still in the post process. Maybe next year sometime. Just say a month. Just yell one yeah, out. Yeah. It's gonna, yeah. It's gonna um, should we talk about Mars and the state of things? Sure. Should we wait for Timmy? Or well, let's, uh, okay, let's wait for Timmy. Cool. All right, yeah. Yeah, we'll wait for Tim. Um, um, oh, okay. Who? Here's another one. Okay, so Trevor had a story that I always wanted him to tell on Newsboys, and he never would. <laughs> and I'm gonna just fucking tell it for him because <laughs> okay. he can't he can't tell me not to anymore. Yeah, sorry, that's bro. True. And it's yeah. uh, so it's another dick injury story. So this is why. Uh, so so when he was in school, and I don't even know this kid's name, so I'm not even gonna like. It doesn't matter. Like this, the the kid is not gonna get. He's never gonna know. <laughs> Do you guys know the story I'm going to tell? Uh, uh, I think so. I, yes, I, I know the story, but I think it's it's so funny because <laughs> it's like it sounded like you're about to be like one time Trevor was beating it so hard <laughs> he's dead. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> who cares? Who cares, guys? Who even cares? It doesn't matter. He didn't want to tell the story. <laughs> yeah, he was. This was his biggest shame. Who cares? Who gives a shit? <laughs> but no, this story is not about Trevor. It's about someone. Trevor. It's not about Trevor. He was in school, and some kid—he must have been like fourth grade or something like that. And some kid, like, just mysteriously <laughs> didn't go to school anymore. Like, stopped showing up at school. And he was—he went to a religious school, and uh, and all the kids are like, "Where's?" I don't know this kid's name. Let's say it's Jeremy. He's like, "Where's? Where's Jeremy?" Like, and the teachers were like, "Okay, everybody, Jeremy's not here. I'm not going to go into why, but pray for Jeremy." Everyone pray for him, okay? And like the next day, no Jeremy, but the teachers are like, just pray for Jeremy. Just let's all right now say a prayer. Like a week goes by and they're like, okay, Jeremy's in Texas. He's having something happen in Texas. Pray for him, like every day. <laughs> Finally, like, I don't know if it was a year later or a week later or what, but he found out what had happened. Jeremy was in the bathroom and he, he straightened out a paper clip and he stuck it down his urethra, I guess, like in. And then his dad opened the door, scaring him. And he yanked the paper clip out. And he pulled the skin of the inside of his dick out. 
and he had to go to Texas to get it put back in. So that's that's why they were. That's why it was not the story. That's why they prayed for Jeremy. That was, not the, yeah. Jeremy. That was not the story you were expecting. No. <laughs> it's just so funny too, because it's also like, I guess like Texas is the closest place to Virginia to get your dick repaired. Yeah, like how do they? They're like, we got to find the best to dick Texas. trauma doctor in the world. Definitely Texas. There's only one guy that can repair a urethra like this. And that's Fuck. That Texas hurts. Doc. And it's like a guy with a cowboy hat. Somebody says story has been told. I don't think someone, that story ever got told. I tried no, to get Trevor to tell that story, and he was like, no, 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 no. Someone called it out. Someone, like, when you were starting, said, is this the paperclip story? So Really? Oh, well, fuck, man. All right. Well, now I feel like an idiot. Or Trevor just... I mean, maybe Trevor. It main. sounds like some classic flagship stuff where he wouldn't tell the story on Newsboys, but like, but he would tell it on flagship. That son of yeah. a bitch. Somebody says, yeah. "So Zach is Adam Conover as annoying as he seems in real life?" I thought Adam Conover was very annoying when I watched the trailer for his show, and when I did that episode, I thought he was like the most delightful guy ever, and I really loved him. <laughs> thought he was super cool. Uh, you know, he plays he plays up being annoying on the show. Yeah. You guys ever watch that? Adam it's ruins kind of, everything. Kind of the 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 whole game of this show, right? Is that he's being annoying? Yeah, the game is that he's like this annoying guy that ruins everything. Yeah, it's um, not called. Adam makes everything delightful. Yeah. <laughs> then Zach thought Army Hammer was cool, right? Yes. Uh, uh, Joe Rogan destroyed Adam Conover in his interview. I heard that that happened, but I didn't watch it. But I heard that. I, I, I'm sure that's true. He destroyed him. Mm. Um, can you guys so hear me right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You he, can. Okay. My yeah, my made, screen's frozen. Are not made him look foolish. Oh, guys, so on an unrelated note, you know what I would love to do on stream sometime? Okay. Can't you watch Prime, any movie that's on Prime video, you can watch on Twitch and do, like, commentary and stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The people Dude, you know what movie I watch? I don't know if it's on Prime, but we should watch an old... Prime to, to, to uh, join along. They have to have Prime? Yeah. Uh, well, most people do. It's fun. Um, like it's it's. I think like it's like a fun one-off thing. We did it on um, Trailer Boys once. I, uh, what up, Mid Midnight Cowboy Buck? Um, do hard business. What's up, dude? Uh, Ron Jain is in here. What up? Um, yeah, I was watching uh, Hard to Kill. That Steven Seagal movie. That movie is fucking hysterical. Have you guys seen any of those old '80s Steven Seagal movies? Uh, I've seen some of them. Yeah, they're so good and bad at the same time. I was loving it, dude. There's this, there's this one scene where he's like, he's like trying to figure out who like put him in a coma, and all he knows is the is that the guy who put him in a coma said before like, and you could take that to the bank. And then like you know, eleven years he wakes up from his coma and he's watching TV, and this like congressman is like, and you could take that to the bank, and he like puts it together and he goes. And he literally, this is dialogue in the movie. He goes, I'm going to take you to the bank, Congressman. <laughs> the blood bank. <laughs> it's like amazing. It's not a comedy. I was, I was like, this, this is too good. We got to watch, we got to watch these movies. There's so many of them and they're I'm all ridiculous, dude. I'm going to take you to the bank, Congressman. Yeah, let's do it. The sperm bank. I've been pitching in Discord for a while. Oh, sorry. That's what he says to a hot girl. Yeah. <laughs> he like goes to the bar. He's like, hey, babe. I'm gonna take you to the bank. <laughs> what, Darren? Sorry. No, I was just saying I I've been uh, pitching for a while. We should do like a movie night with yeah. with the all. Every, I think that'd be fun. Yeah. I just I just saw this movie that is fucking amazing. That uh, you know nowadays there's all these movies that are like meta bat. Like that's part of the reason why I like the Steven Seagal thing is so good is because people weren't leaning into the bad movie thing back then. People yeah. were like, this is like a good movie and doing things with sincerity. Recently, I saw an action movie that's a, it's like a Swedish-British co-production. So it's in English, but every actor, or most of the actors are Swedish, called oh, Last sh- Man Down. And okay. it is fucking amazing. It is like so much... So many of the shots are just like 
someone popping out of the woods with a machine gun and then like someone running through the woods and then getting shot with like a mask on <laughs> and there are, it is it sounds like a normal movie to me i don't get it but like completely like it just cuts to this guy i sh i should show you guys the trailer for this thing it's pretty amazing uh, is this timmy hopping in or is this your uh this Fiesta is timmy hopping in. okay Zach, will what we get up, an Elden Ring stream? Fuck yeah. Timmy! Yo! What up, dude? How's it going, Hi. man? There, and it's I can see everybody. Timmy. Hey. Big it's Shitty Williams. Williams. Here we go. <laughs> Did you dude, call him Big Shitty Williams? College, fuck college football post-game shows. That's all I have to say. Why do you talk Why? for an hour about touchdowns? We just watched it. Anyways, how's everybody doing? Are you one of the broadcasters? or what, what's No, your I just run the commercial, so I listen to the... If it was a broadcaster, it would be like... All right, that game was great. We threw the ball. We caught the ball. I got to go home. But no, it's like these dudes talking for fucking, you know, literally over an hour. It's like, You'd be the worst broadcaster. Yeah. That'd yeah, be terrible. Just, okay. During the game, I give all the deets, right? But does anyone really like the post-game shows for sports? That's Sam, do you like them? Darren, do you? No. I don't. You kind of really keep sports. them on, and then like you like or like figuring out what else to do, but the post game show's still playing. That's kind of. I guess deal. just show an old X Files. I don't care if it's radio. Just play X Files. Just. I mean, I'm everyone. gonna make a couple comments about your your appearance. You got a haircut and it looks good. Thank you. You, you lost weight and it looks good. A little bit, yeah. Thanks. Uh, you know, I've been doing a. I was doing a major uh, eating load for the last three months as of tomorrow. And, uh, you know, this past week, uh, you know, finally started getting on the fucking carrot train again, you know? Oh, uh, yes. My eating wife and I drove to Krispy Kreme today and went in and bought donuts, which is something I have never done in my life. And what I did you like do? You went to a Krispy Kreme? Badass. We went to Krispy Kreme. We like, were like, let's go to Krispy Kreme. Like... Why Krispy Kreme? I don't know. Like we like left the house to go to Krispy Kreme, like weirdos. <laughs> like it was insane. Dude, did they're they not still even do that, that good. Hot good donuts donut it wasn't even good. It wasn't Cal even good. It was. That's fine. the thing too. They... California no, is no. known for its donuts. Like LA is known for its donuts. There's plenty of right. like amazing they were, donut they were, places. They were less good than like the little like mafia front like uh, right three blocks away oh, from Oh, dude, in LA, yeah, that's where you good. go. The mafia yeah, yeah, those are The good. ones where you can get lottery tickets and cigarettes and donuts? <laughs> yeah. Every right. independent mom and pop donut shop in Los Angeles is like a money laundering operation. <laughs> There's I, a I really that think guy. that's true. I'm not even, that's real. There's a documentary about the guy, the Yummy Donuts. Like he's some. Well, that guy's a good guy who like helps people get into the country. And oh, get he work. is. So he he's not like a mob. Enforcer. He's not a criminal, but everything he doesn't own, I think, is is bad. Okay. <laughs> anyway, how's it going, you guys? What are we? What have you been talking about? Uh, We've been talking about Steven Seagal movies, and I was saying we should all get oh, on yeah. here and watch like Hard to Kill or Above the Law or those kinds of things because they're Dude. hilarious. Oh, I bet great. Timmy's really good at Steven Seagal movies. I can talk Steven Seagal for sure. He, uh, well, he's like a piece of shit, but like, yeah, especially during his like phase where he was like a big star. It's just so funny, you know, because he always uh, there's this other there's this movie writer I, I like who uh, wrote a book about Seagal and the uh, different uh, uh, tropes that Seagal would push in every film he was in. Uh, he always wanted to put in some bullshit Eastern religion stuff. I'm not calling those right. religions bullshit, but like Seagal was just, you know, pretending to be obsessed with Buddhism or whatever. Uh, he always had to throw a guy through a window. There's like so much broken glass in Seagal movies. And uh, Rad. So and, he, he he's right to do that. Right, you know, absolutely. Yeah. Um, and I don't know, there's a bunch of other stuff. But my favorite Seagal thing is he hard do, to He kill. doesn't kick, he, though, you know. right? That's his thing, is he doesn't kick? I don't, no. And as he got chubbier, they would do... I saw a movie when he was, like, in his chubby time, you know? Uh, and, it like, he does, like, just a somersault, and it, like, goes into slow motion, <laughs> like, look at this. And it's a somersault! He does not leave the ground! <laughs> Wait, maybe he doesn't kick, because I just watched Hard to Kill, like, last week... It's a lot of like this. It's a lot yeah, of like yeah. this guy. Yeah, yeah. And there's one training montage where it's like this wide shot of him in the middle of his dojo. And it's literally him just going like this. And it looks <laughs> it looks ridiculous. It doesn't look cool at all. It's just like him alone going like this. It is so fucking awesome. So he was uh, the Aikido trainer for um, 
I think one of the big CAA hot shots, one of the big Yeah, for Mike Ovitz. He was Mike Ovitz's trainer, and he was like, I'll make this guy a star. Yeah, it's like, what? But my favorite thing in Hard to Kill, you know, so he's like a guy that gets attacked at the beginning and it's a corrupt politician who has him attacked and they think he's dead, but he goes into a coma. He wakes up with like a horrible fake beard and mustache. That's only and then he here, sees, not here. Yeah, it's just terrible. It's like a, a fake goatee, like he's grown just a goatee in a coma. And then he sees, he wakes up, he sees on TV that the, the politician played by William Sadler is now running for a bigger position, whatever. And he goes, and the guy has this ad campaign. Did you guys talk about this? Yeah. You're going to say the same quote I was talking about before we got it. <laughs> oh. Keep going. I know. Okay. Okay. No, we know. I mean, if you already no, talked no, about the blood thing. No, going. no, no. Do it. Do it. <laughs> well, the guy goes, because it's William Sadler. He's like, make some promise. He goes, you could take that to the bank. And then Seagal's character, Mason Storm. Did you mention his name is Mason Storm? Nope. nope. Zach nope. fucked that up. Mason Storm says, I'll take you to the bank, Senator. The blood bank, you know, it's just like ah, <laughs> same quote. Same saying twice. before you came on. Yeah, I know. Well, that's what I mean. That's it's just great. But there's another one other Wait, good. Sam, can you put that? Can you find that YouTube clip and we watch that on Fiesta? Well, that'd be great. Right. We should. We gotta watch that moment. There's a later Seagal movie when he's doing all the direct to video stuff where he's just shooting. You know, where do uh, where do all those like uh, slime balls shoot? Bulgaria, somewhere over there. But uh. Probably Bulgaria, yes. Right. <laughs> but so, yeah. like, he gets into a pickup truck at one point to chase somebody down, and there's, like, Big Mac wrappers all over the dashboard, and it's like, is this your pickup truck? Like, whose pickup truck is I think that's actually Steven Seagal's pickup truck. Like, dude, just a bunch of empty fry cartons. <laughs> well, I remember there's a story that, like, when he was shooting his reality show where he was, like, a cop, like an honorary cop or a yeah. real cop or whatever, mm-hmm. he, they were, there was, like, a crime they had to go and, like, respond to, but it was raining and he wouldn't get out of the car because his hair can't get wet or it would like streak down his face Rudy Giuliani style so he was just like stay in the car and they're like you gotta you gotta do your job man you gotta go fight criminals he's like yeah. it's all colored his hair is all colored and stuff okay yeah. <laughs> he's terrible um I don't know uh, another quick sort of related story Zach you and I one time before a show at Rafifi remember when our good buddy Greg Johnson used to live next door to Rafifi and yeah. Before a show at Rafifi, you and I were hanging out at Greg's house, and we were watching uh, Over the Top, the Sylvester Stallone mm. arm wrestling movie. Yeah, that's a tremendous That's a good movie. one. A tremendous, yes. Yeah, so this is getting too intense. I know you love that this line. This is getting <laughs> too intense. I still Thank say you. that a lot. That's, that's great. so funny. But then, so <laughs> there's a, you know, it's about him going to an arm wrestling tournament. Literally, you know, it's in a Norm MacDonald sketch, but uh, literally to, for the custody of his child. But so, like, the first part of the first big day of arm wrestling is over. And then you said, like, uh, well, what's he going to what's the movie going to do right now? Like, in between arm wrestling, like, what's going to happen? And I go, I don't know. He'll probably, like, throw a guy through a window. And the next scene, he goes up to Robert Loja is like the owner of the casino and also his like the fa- the grandfather of his child and is a big shithead. Anyway, so he goes up to Roger, Robert Loja's office. One of Robert Loja's henchmen gives Sylvester Stallone a bunch of shit and he throws him through the 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 glass door into the office. <laughs> we were like, oh. yeah, dude. Hell. And you, and you said, oh, did you know that would happen? Have you seen this? I'm like, no, I haven't seen it, but that's just what happens. In these <laughs> that's just what happens. It's like save the cat, you know? Oh, it's like, yeah, that's it's like that in between the, in the big movie. scenes, you throw a man yeah. through a window. Because what are you going to do? Develop your character? All right. Uh, if you guys go to. <laughs> yeah, uh, says, I'm realizing, there's a comment. I'm realizing, I think they may have full on halved the viewers on this stream by having the notification say it was Sam playing Call of Duty. No offense, Sam. LOL. Is the notification correct at at this point? I, I don't know. Uh, when I looked on the app a little while ago, when you guys started, when I was still trying to get home, it said something. It said like Call I, of Duty. I hit. Yeah, to, said I hit to update it. It's updated. It's fixed All now. Right. Thank you, chat. Love you, chat. Hey, Does this chat. mean we're gonna lose Love half you. our viewers now? Love you, chat. No, it means we uh, already this did. Self suck in the afternoon. Uh, Apparently. Afternoon suck, sucker. Did you guys day. get the new Call of Duty? Yes. yes. What is this one? Is, what's what's the time? World what's the time period? Back in World War Two, baby. Ooh. Oh. Wow. Pretty good. I, I've only are been really playing great. it for a day, but I, I like it. Yeah. The graphics are what? Really great. Yeah, totally. It really feels like next. Well, day. I think I saw Amy 
Trevor's wife gave me these yesterday or two days ago. Hell yeah, I eat pussy. The queefier, the better. They call me the queefster. Oh no. Are you going to put them on your car? Oh my God. Are you going to put them on your car? on Sam's car one day. No. Somebody's car. Here, here, wait. Let me show you. Peek over to Sam. You should be fucking honored to have me put these on your car. (laughs) Are we. Did Sam say we're supposed to go into his link for the video thing? I went in. When does Elden Ring come out, Maurice? I would love to. Uh, What's up? Yeah, when an Elden Ring comes out, I will. I will a hundred percent. I will stream that shit. What What is Elden Ring? I've heard seen Elden other people. Is the new George R. R. Martin and um uh oh my god I'm blank. Is it what What's his name? Uh, the guy who does the Dark Souls games who is like oh uh, I don't know either, but I know Miyazaki. Mi- I'm I'm fucking terrible at names. One of those guys. Yeah. Yeah, Miyazaki. I got it right. What's got coming it. out? It's a game or what is it? I think it's yeah. not coming out for a long time though, right? Wait, wait, wait. George R. R. Martin's getting people hyped about something that's not going to come out for a long time? That's this so... is going to come out. Like, I th- it's going to... This is a real thing. All right, good. Hmm. All right, well, let's talk about Mars. Yes. Oh, yeah. Speaking of, wait. speaking of when's it going to come out, when's it going to happen? Speaking of, yeah. Do you, I've got that clip queued up if you guys want to watch it. Oh, yeah. Well, okay, let's watch the clip all and right. then we'll get into Mars. Okay, all right. Sam, I entered right. your, your thing. Dessert right. before dinner. Mm. Darren, are you in there? Huh? Is that in no. February? Oh my what? god! Where do I go? How do I? Uh, Sam do I... emailed us a link. Oh, he emailed it to us. Oh, here we go. Oh, right now, I'm the only person in there. And anyway. Chad can see it too. Hold on, uh, they'll be able to see it in a sec. Uh, what's everyone's in? Um, where's my? Here we go. Wait, Zach, click that link again, just because I, I updated it before everyone was in oh my god oh my god sam oh my god guys timmy what's that from getting... what that's uh, a i'm quoting you but two. i don't know what from oh, oh my, my god. god oh my god that's from a story oh, that the rat had a barcode oh it's my god Kristen. It's, it's oh my god oh my god oh my god yeah okay. god. <laughs> Dude, we are fucking 40. I mean, we're quoting our maybe one of our most popular sketches. We're like, what is that? Is that from us? No, it's from it's from that story about It's not Christmas from a and sketch. It's from you when you thought that your girlfriend was telling you there was a rat with a barcode oh, in your rat. Oh, the oh, rat yeah. story. Oh, cuz I thought yeah. you were doing my God, Kristen. Oh my god. Oh, oh yeah, my yeah. God. Yeah, I oh, still god. Uh, god. Yeah. <laughs> there was a rat. All right, play this barcode. fucking thing, man. With the barcode. I'm waiting for people to yeah, get I'm in. still not there. Just play it. Just play okay, it. so where am I supposed to go? I hit the link, but hit, I'm hit oh link my God. Try, try it again. Just try it again. Hit the link again? And Darren, okay. it's, it's in your email. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm pulling up. Fucking Call of Duty sketch. Super slow. <laughs> Mom! Okay, I'm in. There's two Zs. Oh, you found the you found this. Alright. Oh my god. Are you ready? Yes! I'm just play it, dude. I'm- All right. I can play it! Alright. I dare you to play it. I dare you to play the video. I must have played that tape over a thousand times. You know, looking for little quirks in the voices. Ass. Phrases that repeat. Great ass. Phrases that repeat. Look at his eyes. Like ice cream. Just think hard. Just think hard. You can take that to the bank. Your chance go back for seven Show me how it is. Do you have any recollections? Yeah, you suck your lip a little bit. Look at me. I still have on the same film and the same camera. Got your face, dude. The People's Candidate, Senator Vernon Frank, promises no new taxes. And you can take that to the bank. There's his fake beard. Money now and a lot more when I get in that office. I can take that to the bank. I'm gonna take you to the bank, Senator Trent. To the blood bank. It says it even yeah. funnier than Timmy and I said it. It is. He whispered it. There's no way to be as funny as that is. Uh, it's like, uh, is that music in the from the film that's not added on? <laughs> I don't do, do, so. do, do, do. Yeah, just the Terminator song. Like, yeah, I was gonna say, was the Terminator gonna show? Up? Oh my god! 
You know why they did that? Because that is a Schwarzenegger as Terminator level pun joke right there. That's like only Schwarzenegger delivers those so much better. All right. I'm telling you, that movie is hilarious beginning it's to end. So it is fucking hilarious. Are we going to talk Mars? Are we going to take uh, Mars to the blood shit. bank? <laughs> Are we going to take Mars to uh, the blood bank? Good, Darren. We're going to take Mars to the blood bank. Get to Mars! Uh, okay, so... The celeb said, he's so cool. <laughs> he's very Darren, cool. Darren, you want to fire back? Uh, what? What happened? Huh? Nothing. Right, we just ground this thing Mars. to a terrible halt. All right, let's talk about Mars. Right. What are we doing? All right. Okay, we got an update. Because we got like 900 folks in here. Oh, hell yeah, dude. We got an update. Yeah. We, we got do. an update from our accountant about fundraising. And so we have had the chance to update the jug. You guys ready? Uh, yeah, I want to. Uh, we got to be, be looking at the stream to see it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I want to see. I don't know how. Whatever, just screen. do it. And then tell me what oh, it yeah. looks like. Describe it to me. <laughs> yeah, describe it to me. Go. Hang on. Go. Holy shit. Holy shit. What's it, it look like? It is oh my so God. close. It's yellow. It, There's a it's lot of yellow. It's almost entirely yellow. Really? It's almost yeah. entirely yellow. Yes. Sweet. Dude. And so, wait a minute. Is this From like... For what what dollar amount? Three seventy five. Three seventy five. We're but like just a hair we're, under it. We're what? at three thirty. Then oh, what about oh. does this factor in taxes and uh, the extra fees for music? No, there are no. three seventy five. I okay. think yes. Three seventy five. All right, we're yes. doing all right. Oh, should I be checking donos, guys? Probably. Oh yeah, I was gonna do that too. I'm. I have been. I've been bad. Oh, there's me, some. Me I can do. read some. I got some in front of me. I can start doing a whole jug. That's right, chat. <laughs> that's awesome. right. A whole jug. I mean, really, when you look at that, all that's left is like the cap part. Yeah. You know? That's pretty yeah. Pretty great. Last time I was on a stream. Last time I was on a stream with Sam, I was like, uh, "So what? How? How's our uh, uh, money doing with the movie?" And he's like, "Darren." We have an accountant. Ask him. <laughs> it's like, oh, <laughs> okay. I realized it's been like, oh, oh I can I'll just I would usually be the guy that would be all over it. Yeah, and like, yeah. I never thought of that once. Like, oh, I could just email the dude who counts our money and he can tell us. But yeah. no. Yeah. <laughs> Darren asked hey, me, and I, I was like, well, well, you can figure yeah, this out. Yeah, I got him up too. I thought, yeah, go ahead. Um. Melmden donated 50 bucks. Says, love you guys forever. Love you, Melmden. Bubble Bloop donated $100. He says, hey. where's the ass on a fish? I that's That will keep me up at night. I don't know. That's a good one. Uh, Big Slimy Ballsack donated 20 bucks. Says, geez, my balls sure are slimy. <laughs> yeah. Nobody suck my dick. Donated 10 bucks. Says, bring back collective souls. Bring back collective souls. Oh, that's okay. Uh, Cummy Mittens donated 50 bucks. Says, Timmy, eat some horseradish. I'm I out. distrust donated 20. Says, this one time at band camp, this guy, white paint bucketed all over my face, and now I'm starting to think it wasn't paint. I'm horrified. Love you guys. Um, that's a Ryan American, pi 91 American donated pie 50. Reference. Says, Zack Attack is back. How's the movie going, brother? I'm excited to see it. Sam, happy belated birthday. My birthday twin. Hope you had a good time. Oh. Maybe next year, y'all can come to my shitty small town. Darren, keep it sexy. Any sexy grooming tips? Darren, any sexy Ooh. grooming tips? Uh, yeah, you gotta rub uh, Egyptian wax into your beard. Make oh. it look Egyptian like this. Wax. Egyptian yeah. wax? Uh, uh, yeah. Zach, will you sex my fiance? Donated ten dollars. Says, "Hey guys, my fiance and I were visiting LA this week and really wished we could have met up for you know." <laughs> wow. Uh, Ryawaska donated again. Said, "Didn't mean to leave you out, Timmy. Your haircut looks great. I'm so happy I got you to chuckle at my hot dog joke." Timmy Whoa. Weems, why don't you come save my life now? Open my eyes, blind me with your hot dog. Oh, so, that's that a tool. A that's one. a tool reference. It's a tool reference. Got it. Got it. Mm. Me, me, uh, me, you got it. You doll Lickers R Us donated 50 bucks. Says, love you guys. Take us to the sperm bank. And Caleb donated five. Says, I am poor, but I love you all so much. Can't wait to watch this movie over and over and over. I hope you like it. Um, cool. 
All right. Thanks, everybody. Wow, nice. Thanks, guys. And also, eight days ago, Flowers18 donated 100 bucks. I should just say, I don't know if you guys called this out. It says, I lost slash left my job this week, which has been really tough. Hey, at least I had a stack of Elon and Shib. Love you guys. Hope you're well. What does Elon and Shib mean? Thank you, Flowers. They're uh, uh, coins. They're- NFTs. Uh, coin. Sh- Shib is Shibu oh. Inu coin, and Elon is, they're, they're like, you know, uh, what you call it? Crypto. That's some crypto, crypto there. Mm. I am nope. I am out of the loop. I'm so I'm never going to be in the loop on crypto. Yeah. It's never going to get. I have here. a cousin, and he has like this thing on his phone where these bots just basically trade coins for him, and they're just constantly working. They're automated bots, and like they just get like two dollars like every like three minutes, or it's just crazy. It just keeps adding up, and it's almost always in the positive. It's insane. Wait, what? Who who does yeah. this? My cousin. Sounds yeah. like a pyramid. Why are you doing like, it? I'm I'm too. I don't know. I haven't. It for me to like take money out of an account and go put it in a Bitcoin account. I, it just seems like that's going to be a lot of work. I haven't done it. I want to. I agree. But I, I, just, I agree. Every time I I think about like learning more about them, like I'm even just learning about like I can't. I don't. Know. Because for those I've sites, got crypto. You have, they're like. They're like, take a picture of your passport. Take a picture, a video of you holding your checking account and saying who you are, what's your account number. It's just like, ah, oh, I don't want to do that. You know, that's why I stopped Facebook is I got frozen out of my Facebook account. And it was like, to, to log in, you I ha- it, it demanded that I send a photo of my driver's license. And I was like, I'm not doing this. Fuck, I'm done. Fuck Facebook. Yeah, yeah it's crazy. Yeah. They, I didn't know they do that. Wow. Yeah. That's gross. Uh, I, I have meta. Cr- Zach. Yeah, it's Meta now. Yeah, that's right. It's not Facebook oh, anymore. Does it say Meta when you log in? No. Wait, is it called Meta? I, I, I don't even know. Uh, Mark, you didn't he, uh, hear about Mark this? Zuckerberg. I have Yeah, he doesn't hear no, about stuff because he doesn't do Newsboys anymore. No, truly. <laughs> truly. Uh, yeah, so he renamed the Facebook company Meta. But if you log into yeah. Facebook, it still says Facebook. Yeah. Weird. Sam and I watched their whole, like, intro to the world oh, yeah. of like Mark Zuckerberg saying now we're talking about meta where you can walk into your own virtual world with your friends and be anywhere you want to be is just yeah he's like so good. That, that sounds like there's too many dystopian like sci-fi movies and books that start that way right like like yeah. there's, a, there's a beautiful virtual world overseen by a like a weird ass billionaire everything's fine it's fine you know and I mean, um, like, can we go back to Mars fake, for a second? Right? Because yeah, I, yeah. I feel like I'm out of the loop of Mars. So tell me this. So, so the money's pretty much there, almost. It's almost there. We're closing in on it. Close. When do we expect it to be done? Um, I don't. Well, know. the goal was to be done this year, and we were going to release it early next year. That's yeah. the goal, like we've been talking track about. That? So. I, I don't think we're on track for that. I don't know. I think, I think we'll probably we finish sometime that. next year. But we're not talking like I, I. I can say pretty confidently it's not going to be like the end of next year. Like if it's next year, no. it'll probably be like early, early first first half of the year for sure. Yeah, first. Hopefully, half of the year, maybe by February March. Yeah, yeah. but like, I'll, I'll, also, I don't know much about it. That sounds early to me, but I think that by the summer for sure. Right. Also, though, that that depends on how we're going to release it, though. Like, are we going to go and try and get it into festivals and, like, do screenings before we make it accessible to everyone or, you know? That's a great question. I don't know. So uh, We should send uh, it that, to that Oscars festival. Yeah, oh, we'll send yeah. it to the Oscars festival. Um, but that that's something we can talk to uh, Cara about. Yeah, yeah. Uh, All right, we'll figure it out. Yeah. One way or another, we're getting that bad boy out. Get soon. out. Everyone's going to be able to see it. And thank you all for helping make it. I mean, holy shit. Yeah, yeah, like, the, the latest news is like a, a whole scene was done, and Savan sent that to us. Yes. Right? Yeah. Did you watch it? Yeah. I have not seen it. I didn't. You haven't seen uh, it. I didn't watch it either. Yeah. Uh, I watched it. <laughs> what? <laughs> None of us did. Okay, no, being, I watched it. Completely I derelict of duty, obviously. <laughs> Wait, is it the I, dentist scene? Because I did see that. It's the dentist scene. It's the dentist scene. But it's the complete dentist scene. Yeah. 
Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Because uh, we. I don't want people at had... home to think that we are like asleep at the wheel. Like right now, yeah, it's like yeah. the animators are like they're they're working. There's like they're in there. They're working every day. It's all happening. Yeah. It's just my excuse is I'm I'm right. I'm working on something, but yeah, Timmy has none. Timmy has no excuse. I'm not. I'm peace. Get mad at him. <laughs> That's what I'm Some, Someone said Charlottesville screening in honor of Trevor. If we wanted to honor Trevor, I think we'd have it in L.A. or New York. Yeah, uh. I agree. Yeah, we're not going to Charlottesville. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. I'm not. <laughs> he would have uh, been. I, there, I was going there. If I was going to go there, I'd have at least a Mason Storm level fake beard and disguise yeah. and name. Yeah. Like, he, he he wouldn't have wanted to do a Charlottesville screening while he was alive. We're not going to do one when he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. he did say over my dead body a few times, so maybe he wants us to do it now. I yeah, don't that's know confusing. How that works. He, he definitely he said that about doing a show in South Dakota, so I guess now we have to do a show in South Dakota. Yeah, let's think of everything that Trevor's like over my dead body, and then we have to we have to now <laughs> yeah, do we should go do. It. Yep, yeah. man. <laughs> Wasn't it was Alaska and South Dakota were the two states that he never went to? Well, those are the only two. I think that was a that was a thing. <laughs> Wait, did he really go to North Dakota? Um. Well, we drove through it on tour once, so maybe we he did? counted that. Yeah. We did, uh, because we went from like, uh, oh, St. Paul towards Washington State, and so we drove across North Dakota and Montana. Uh -huh. that, that was when we were on the bus for like an entire day and a half, because those are some big fucking states to drive across. So that was cool. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, that was fun. Montana was good. Would you say? Would you say being on tour during that that tour that we did was like one of the best times of your life, or were, would you say that was one of the messiest times of my life? Messiest. <laughs> uh, I mean, both. Really? It yeah, yeah, it both. So I think fun. is a good yeah. answer. And it was messy. We were like a bunch of what were we like in our mid twenties, just fucking slobs, and we had like no. I mean, we had to do shows every night, but other than that, we had like no fucking. Restrictions we or rules to live by. Slobs fucking and shucking our way across this great land. <laughs> just fucking and shucking. And we what was that bit? I'm kind of doing a Fatum thing there. You we got could just be drunk all the time. We drank a lot. Well, you know? Fatum was there. Fatum yeah, would yeah, not was stop there. rapping. He would not stop rapping. I, I found pictures <laughs> of that. Of him oh rapping. Oh my god, really? And us like sitting on him. Yeah. To try, to try and get him to stop rapping. Yeah. Right. Wrestling him to the ground, that. yeah, to, just begging him to stop rapping, and he wouldn't. <laughs> the freaks come out at night. Stop rapping, please, <laughs> please stop rapping. Oh my god! I talked to him about that. He would, have, he would have a snuggie on, and he would just be rapping about his snuggie, and just he would he would never stop. It's I amazing. talked to him about like, that, you know, you and he was like, bed. "Yeah, we'll good night, good night." <laughs> You can go to bed and you can close your little curtain and you can be in your little sleeping coffin, but like, it doesn't matter. Like, Josh Phantom is 10 feet from you in the same vehicle. Just wrap it. Freak, come out. The freak, come out. Well, yet it's like fucking 3 a.m., 5 a.m., whatever. And it's like, all right, well, this is what we're doing. <laughs> but I wouldn't I, I, change one nanosecond of that, you know? I've, I've talked to him about that and he is, he was like, like, now he knows we were all very annoyed with him. But he's like, yeah, I just thought you guys really were into the bit I was doing. <laughs> he, like, sincerely <laughs> thought it was, like, a great I bit, mean, and he was just running with it. I secretly was. I was yeah. in the back of my mind, but, you know. Yeah, no one was actually mad. Yeah. No. Yeah. 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 I, I think I only ever it was would be insane. like, man, it would be cool to go to sleep right now, but, yeah. you know. <laughs> Was the biggest fight we ever had on tour the fight with me and Sam where I got too drunk at the bar and Sam tried to tell me to leave and then I got really pissed? Was that the worst? Yeah. Uh, like real fight? Yeah, yeah. probably. <laughs> yeah, the the next night was, that's, was really that's bad it. too. I just remember I went to bed that night thinking, I'm done with Sam. Like my friendship <laughs> with Sam is officially over. Like it's over. I'm not going to talk to him for the rest of my life. And like this sucks, but I guess it is what it is. And I fell asleep and I woke up and my first thought in the morning was like, I was such an asshole. I have to apologize to Sam like immediately. <laughs> uh, well, I've been an asshole was that, to you. So Was that the Ohio fight? No. Yeah. That was. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh man, yeah. Tour is fun. Y'all notice an extra fierceness with Zach since he's been back. 
Is there? Fierceness, like in that, like I don't think fierce so. kind like of mean, like, like a RuPaul kind of a yeah, fierce like, a like, like that guy from uh, Project Runway. Wasn't that right. where it came from? Is uh, that what that came from? Fierce. This is a. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm not. I've never watched Project Runway. What uh? What should we? Wa- are we watching stuff? What do you guys want to do? Do you yeah, want to watch? Charging I mean, magic missiles is talking about. He says, "I said the same thing to Ron Gina months ago. He still refuses to talk to me. Who's not talking to you? What are what we talking this? about? I don't know. Ron Gina? I don't know. Um, drama? Is yeah. there drama? Is that what? No, that no. I don't think there's drama. I'm just trying to understand uh, what's going on. Uh, uh, should we? Do you guys? Should we move on to something else? Timmy, you want to do fan art? We could do. I've got fan Ooh. art ready to go. Uh, I just, uh, you know, I, I maybe just for a second wanted to, uh, to circle back to the PCP jug and just be like, I mean, it's fucking incredible that that is almost full. You know, I think yeah. uh, that can't be overstated. And the support of the fans, especially since, since Trevor, you know, the support of the fans. I mean, you think about that first week or two, how much we raised just in those couple weeks. You know, That's the first like it's been fucking crazy, and it's like, you guys are so amazing for helping us get this movie made and i mean it's i I just i'm kind of blown away it's only been a little over a year since we started raising funds for it and we're almost fucking done yeah what is that going on you know so it's like no very quickly i just looked at our donations today and i got we got some doozies and i got to get into this real quick otherwise go go. um holy shit uh and the joke is coke fizz donated 25 bucks says uh timmy i made spiral spiralized zucchini last friday and it was so good great to see you guys all together again love to you all also zach my you username did. is a reference to a song by the band sloan because you ask every time and the <laughs> joke is coke fizz all right uh, saint trevor candles donated 845 dollars uh. And said, oh, ready for this rocket to blast off. Here's some more gas monies. Next time I'll bring some snacks. Do you prefer space potatoes or chocolate milk A-line? Uh, that's that's, that's, that's a lead selling the candles and the merch and stuff. Oh, and wow. the merch. Okay, that, yeah. thank you so much. That's, that's amazing. Chicken, yeah. not right, and the next one, Lydia Petunia donated $1,000 and said, what? hey, honeys, chickennotkittens.com oh, donation that's... incoming. Huge thanks to all the fans who've made this donation possible. It's such a treat to see all our boys together. I love you all to Mars. That's fucking great. I'm yeah, mistaken. So that's, awesome. awesome. that's great. Yeah. Thank you so much for that. All right. There's there's four more. Hang on. Uh, it's Liam right now. Donated 10. Says happy Saturday. Keep it silly. Craiger is daddy. Donated 69.69. Said glad to see daddy back in Zaction action happy belated birthday <laughs> sam timmy i love your haircut i see you've been taking darren's grooming tips to heart huge thanks to you darren for waking up early as fuck for this love you all i'm so excited for mars go fuck yourselves dollickers good deal and paul smecker donated 50 said uh, damn i just noticed that pc piss jug is getting full miss you boys to mars and principal rolls donated said thanks for making my shitty week better to mars thank you everybody oh, phenomenal thank you so much everybody okay, thank you Darren, are you That's up awesome. early or up late? What, what time is it? No, we, we all had a big debate about this because right. we're like, okay, we want to stream. So, Darren, oh, wait, do wait. you want to get up at like 6 in the morning or do you want to like do it late at night? And I was down to do either, whatever you guys wanted. But I think uh-huh. it just made sense for you guys to go earlier because right. this is the one week. Like tomorrow it will change back. Like I'm right now I'm only four hours ahead of East Coast time. And then starting tomorrow, I'll go back to being five hours ahead of East Coast time. Daylight thing, okay. Oh, yeah, you so guys- then the next Saturday, if you guys want to do a late night one, I will wake up at like 6 a.m., have coffee, yeah, and, know. you know, yeah. Yeah, because that was well, the, the other thing is, like, our idea what? was early ahead, morning Trey. for you, and I'd be on at one in the morning or something. It was, it's like, hard, it's, it's uh, hard to organize all these time zones. But well, we, we should, should think about what's yeah. easier for the people watching. It's like late at night, for us is like really okay. late also for the east coast and then are we gonna have like way less people watching or so right now in matter? chat why don't you tell us what time's best for you <laughs> good call yeah, everybody everybody yell out. Out. no no everyone yell out same time well i'm uh, in the middle so why don't i just pick all the time ooh, 420 oh 420 uh, people like this time Although all the people that like this time are here right now. <laughs> so it's kind this of... Tea, by the way. Not even true. Somebody, somebody in the chat right now said, I like the old time. 
Uh, I'm here, um, but but against my will. Yeah, they don't. I do tea time here, but they just don't like how I do it. I drink out of a a big old measuring cup because I'm American. That's a that's yeah. a that's a too big a cup, there, isn't it? Is that what they say? Like too big a cup. Too big <laughs> oh a cup, dear, isn't it? Darren, you need a little cup. Where's the little cup I provided you, sir? Darren, I've been watching a lot of Sherlock Holmes stuff, uh, so I, I want to visit you and like, can we go to Sherlock Holmes places? You yeah, know? what, what, like, like old Sherlock Holmes, like the Baskerville. Well, we watched. My, I've been reading the books, and then my daughter and I watched the '50s version of How the Baskervilles with Peter Cushing and Christopher Lee. That was great. Uh, mm. And um, what else were we gonna watch? Oh, we're, we're gonna watch some other old stuff, like from the '40s. You know, they made. We've just been at a Sherlock Holmes lately. I don't know why. Anyways, the books are phenomenal. Cool, dude. Yeah, I'm reading like this huge chunky collection of all of. Arthur Conan Doyle stories, and I'll just read them out loud to my daughter. And like the solutions and the mysteries are, it's like that guy just thought of all this shit. It's so cool, you know. Do you know about what? the the beef between Arthur Conan Doyle and Harry Houdini? No, <laughs> you know that they were amazing. like they were like best friends, but then way back then, I guess like spiritualism was like really taking taking root. Yes. And so people were really into like mystics and mediums and all that sort of stuff. And Houdini was like a skeptic. Like Harry Houdini would, he would like, he was one of those guys that was always going to like Congress and be like, these people are scamming everybody and like, don't let that church do that. And he, he was like a really like on the side of rationality and a good dude. But Arthur Conan Doyle was actually, you'd think it would be the other way around, but right. like where, yeah. where Houdini would be a mystic and Conan Doyle would be a skeptic because Conan Doyle would always write about, you know, logic and detection uh, and all a, that a stuff. A logical guy uh, fucking explaining things people thought were mystical. Yeah. <laughs> but then Arthur Conan Doyle's wife was like really into this stuff. And I guess she, I can't remember if it was her or if it was like someone close to her. I think it was her. She thought she could like channel the dead. And like she would like write letters from the dead to their survivors, and she wrote one from Harry Houdini's mom to Harry Houdini and gave it to him. And he was like, "Okay, so this is completely bullshit." Like he called her out. He was like, "My mom didn't speak a word of English, so so why would she, you know, talk to you in English? That's crazy." And also, like she never called me Harry, so like no. And uh, like he just would, like shut it down. And like Arthur Conan Doyle was like so fucking pissed. Uh, it like ended their friendship and they had like this big falling wow. out. Anyway, pretty cool. Why you couldn't just let it go. You couldn't just let it slide, dude. <laughs> let my wife think she's magic, bro. What, what is your problem? I don't know. Dude? I, I'm guessing Harry Houdini was pretty fucking intense. Right? <laughs> like, he made his yeah. money like trying to die. <laughs> yeah. Know? Like, locking himself in a fucking, <laughs> like, locking himself up and jumping in water. <laughs> but what's really interesting is like I went to the at the Magic Castle, which for people who don't know is this like really old mansion here in LA. It's called the Magic Castle. It's where like all these magicians, um, you know, it's like a mecca for for magicians. And so you go there any night of the week, and there's like all these different rooms, and like the best magicians of the world are like performing. It's it's very cool. You have to be a member. There's like to get a lot in. of people that are sitting there and talking about how they've never had sex before and how. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but they have a Harry Houdini room, which is a round room because apparently he used to use it for seances. And it's really interesting because I don't think it's true. Like, I don't think Harry, because he was such a skeptic, but he did say, when I die, try and summon me, uh, have a seance and try and try and summon me because if it's possible, like I will, like I will be willing to come and make contact. So like, give it a shot. And wow. uh but I don't think he it didn't work. I, I so he was skeptical, but maybe also open minded about it. But, but I think he was like saying that more from a position of skepticism. Like, yeah. like if, you know, I will agree before death that I will I will be willing to make contact. So try and you know see right. what happens. Mm. Yeah. Well, yeah, but but I had the same thought because I was reading something else the other day about Arthur Conan Doyle about him yeah being into mysticism I'm like that's so weird because like How Did the Baskervilles his most popular story is about Sherlock fucking breaking open this 200 year old legend about magical dogs you know so right. spoilers for How Did the Baskervilles I, I saw a really <laughs> Harry fucking... says has anyone tried to contact Trevor yet we have not but Sam weren't you going to 
We were going to at the memorial have uh, Patty Negri. I, I'm sure Patty Negri has attempted to contact Trevor. Uh, yeah, lady. the thing is, Trevor said all the time, when you, like what uh, he said, what he yeah. wanted. Maybe it's not what he believed, but he's like, what he wanted is when you're when you're when you're gone, you're gone. It's it. Yeah. That's it. There's nothing. So yeah, that's why like I don't feel like if you were to contact Trevor and he were to respond, it would be kind of a bummer. Could be he, like he ah. doesn't want that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he would. That's exactly what he'd be like. Mm, mm, oh, mm, mm. no thanks. Mm. Mm. Uh, <laughs> I've been going to the the cemetery and, and stopping by his uh, resting place, and it, I think every time I go there, there's something weird going on. There's like because really? it's well, it's because a weird this- place. And because there's a famous YouTuber like two graves down from him that has oh, fans yeah. coming all the time. Really? Yeah. Yes. God. It's very weird. And he's got a photo of himself on his grave with like his jacket over his shoulder. And it's like, no, I'm not, no disrespect. It's just like, it's a very unique gravestone with yeah. this guy. And it's like, and he always has people. Um, yeah. There's like, there. There, people someone. Saying, who, I don't know his name. His name's Connor. What's his Corey? name? Corey? Corey something? Corey. It's Corey something. It's Corey less something. Um, and yeah, he, he died in a car accident. I think uh, it was his 21st birthday and uh, uh, his friend was drunk Sad. and driving him from party to party. Uh, Brutal. Yeah, uh, we went on my birthday to, to Trevor's grave and uh, we're hanging out and there was someone who was dressed up like a wolf, like a werewolf, but like, it wasn't Halloween. My birthday is like half a week before. Corey LeBerry, that's right. Uh, my birth, my, my birthday is like five days before Halloween and this guy was just hanging out in the cemetery dressed up like a werewolf. And you gotta think about Trevor just sitting there and going. Yeah, Trevor would be like, <laughs> Uh. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we done come over here. Um, someone just said, "This is great." Goat Station in chat said, "If you if you tried to contact Trevor, he'd be on mute." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's good. <laughs> One cool thing about Trevor's yeah. grave, though, you guys are giving away Trevor's grave location. I mean, it doesn't um, matter. I don't think it's a secret. He has a what? tree planted over his grave, which is really kind of beautiful and wonderful. It's like, uh, I don't know, like a living thing that's going to like absorb yeah. and be. And yeah, his, awesome. well, and the, his casket yeah. is all wood with no nails, so it'll uh, biodegrade. Yeah. Yeah. By design. Sam, um, is there a picture yeah. on the grave? No. No. Is there? No. No. Hmm. no. In that uh, in that cemetery, though, there are lots of pictures like etched on graves, and yeah. they're some of them are quite quite humorous. Yeah. Well, there's um, a dude right uh, a dude close to Trevor that like uh, looks like a pretty chill dude. What was that? I forget. You guys know which one I meant, right? It's got like long hair. Hooker one. The one that says Hooker. No, uh, that's funny too. But Johnny Ramone. No. <laughs> It's like right by him. I forget. I forget what it was. Um, they're also like pretty close to him. Is is Burt Reynolds, which is funny because oh really? How much Trevor <laughs> liked uh, uh, Smokey and the Bandit, and uh, oh yeah, there's Cornell there. Yeah. His his uh, grave has a QR code on it. His like it's like a bust, That's like a bronze bust great. on like a marble podium and on the corner of the marble podium is a copper like uh uh or bronze qr code and you scan it and it sends you to a website of all these quotes of burt reynolds and it says burt reynolds in his own words that's cool i definitely don't think it was burt's idea (laughs) are they his actual words or is it just his lines from movies probably no yeah yeah (laughs) yeah they're like What's his line? That's What's he huge, say at the beginning? That's a huge dick. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking of that one. Uh, from the begin, towards the beginning of Boogie Nights, when he's like, "I can tell you got like an anaconda in your trousers or whatever the <laughs> yeah. hell he says to Marky Mark's character." Yeah. 
Come on. I come wish on I could have been a fly on the wall of that that set. It's just <laughs> just knowing that Burt Reynolds was so he was so upset at like making that movie. He was just right. the whole time making Boogie Nights. He was like, "This is garbage." Right. And he yeah. saw it and hated it when he saw it. He yeah. also hated it after he saw it. Yeah. And it's crazy because it's a masterpiece. It's like one it's of like the best. It's, it's it maybe is my favorite movie. I mean, it's in the top five of it's my a terrific favorite. movie. I haven't seen yeah. it in a long time, but man, I. I feel like I'd have to take a special person to not like that movie. I mean, yeah. it's kind of it's funny. It's got drama. It's really great, like technical filmmaking. That's crazy. But oh, and, uh, yeah, yeah. And, uh, that's right. Scott nine one five seven five says, and now Marky Mark hates it too. And I think that's really? right. Why? Because yeah. he's super Christian now. Oh, uh, but it's not like I mean, it's not necessarily glorifying pornography either. It's a lot about how their lives sucked. You know. And yeah, doesn't... well, kind of. I mean, it's also it's about like how like family. You can find your family in anything, yes, and like yeah. most people think of like the porn industry is like the least familial environment on earth, and it's like a story about like no, this guy found his family like there, and that that's yeah, they were. I mean, yeah. confirming. That's one cool thing about us. He's does, there's not really a love story, and he doesn't fall in love with anybody, but he be, he finds the love of his family, and they show yeah. in the that's a great point because they show in the beginning that his parents are his mom's a shithead, you know, and uh, yeah, then uh, Roller Girl, and I forget Julia Moore's character, and all those people, yeah, there is people, yeah, so good. The best kind of family is the kind where you fucked your your other family members some of the time. Yeah, we all know. I know that. that. For movies. That's my favorite really? site online. Let me do some donos real quick. Uh, Shortsy One donated 100 bucks. Shortsy Whoa. One, thank you so much. Says, Let's hey. go to Mars. Thanks for being the best comedians known to man, you angel. Uh, Guard the Bunny donated 20. Said, we also just added gift cards and a bunch of mugs to Chicken Not Kittens. Much love to you all. Got to check that out. Thank you so much. Getting High with Dinosaurs donated 35. Said, anytime you are streaming is a good time to me. Just happy to do it. At all. Happy you do it at all. Well, thank you very much. Screw up donated 25 said love you guys you're the best around nothing's ever gonna nothing gonna ever keep you down to Mars yes. thank you and poop jack donated one hundred ninety nine dollars and sixty nine cents and said Doritos chip Doritos chip Doritos chip <laughs> what, what does that mean I don't I, I know. Think that you were talking about Doritos, Doritos out loud and shout to me. who I was now. We were Sam and I were because they have weird Doritos here in England, but I don't think that's what it's about. Oh yeah, yeah thank you. Nevertheless, they have weird flavors, Derek. Oh, Timmy, so weird. Yeah, you, they. I I took a picture today. Yeah, today that they have Doritos that are like Pringles. They're, so they're try. It's a triangle like Pringles canister, and they're corn tortilla chips that are flavored sour cream and onion. Mm, so it's yeah. like a Pringle tortilla chip that's sour cream mm. onion. That's Doritos so chip bizarre. is an em- emoji. What? Oh, so that yeah. he's just writing out Dorito chip, Dorito chip, Dorito chip. I'm oh, seeing okay. all the Doritos. Yes, I see these. <laughs> that's is, great. Uh, Darren, is the food bad there? No. No, no that's what they always say. You know? Are you eating cold yeah. beans for breakfast? Breakfast. <laughs> breakfast is bad, Darren has said. <laughs> Breakfast is bad. Yeah, they, it's like the English breakfast is like blood sausage and like bacon. What they call bacon is like just fatty ham and then like beans and orange eggs and they all it all just runs together in the middle. Dude, it's like, no, no that. thanks. I never so, understood I the beans that. for breakfast. Like beans for breakfast. It doesn't. I They're don't know. good. Is it? The beans here. It, yeah, it's like, dude, they, you eat it and you're like, oh, I get it. They're good. All right. All right. Yeah. Everybody, what's your ultimate breakfast? Health has nothing to do with it. Okay. You're going to live forever. You're in heaven. What What breakfast are you getting? You can only pick one. You got to have it every day. What's it going to be? Whiskey. <laughs> uh, I got to say breakfast burrito. What's in it? Talk, yeah. talk me through it. Mm. I want to get into the nitty gritty. The nitty gritty is it's that that uh, tacos via Corona on uh, Glendale. So you want a corn or a flour tortilla? I think it corn tortilla. It's gotta be flour. It's flour, a burrito. Flour, yeah. Corn yeah. tortillas are gross, man. 
flour. Yeah. Flour. They are. I just I just Thank forget you. which tortillas they're, are. They're which mealy tortillas. and disgusting, and it's weird because yeah. like in Mexico, like that's the only way they do it. It's like that's the authentic way, and like you're a gringo if you like flour tortillas. I'm sorry, flour tortillas are better. Yeah, the corn <laughs> tortillas it like overpowers the entire thing. It's like oh, I'm just tasting corn. Like I want to taste the ingredients. I don't know, man. Yeah. I. Uh, I sometimes like to do hard shell tacos, which is probably another gringo thing, but corn tortillas are better for hard shell and they can get them thin. We get they kind of get her very thin and oh, they're great for hard shell because they're so thin they don't taste very corny. Anyways, that's my two cents. Sorry. It's funny. I have these All conversations right, Sam, with these it, people. So. I have these conversations with people where I'm like, breakfast burrito. And then I have this feeling of like, ah, oh, why did I say breakfast burrito? Like it matters. <laughs> like, it oh man, I, I chose breakfast burrito for the rest you know, of my life. Heaven. This is what you're going to eat for, the, for all eternity. You think this doesn't Shit. matter? This is huge. Oh no. <laughs> I should have chose a Grand Slam. <laughs> Zach, your breakfast. What you got? Homemade buttery biscuit, fried egg, American cheese, gravy, sausage, Ooh, biscuit. I dig that. And and jam. A little thin layer of jam in there too. Fucking. There's oh, this place called boy. All Day Baby in uh, in LA that is the best breakfast sandwich in the world. I'm basically describing that. That's what I want. That's great. You know, I've I've made my own buttermilk biscuits with the recipes from like southerner people you know and like with country ham in it and all that shit and like yeah. it's good when you can get it right but it's like it takes a while to master that you know there's a whole yeah. process to it that's a good choice man i'm gonna go I don't, yeah sam I, I got one uh you order you go into to like a diner you go into like fred 62s you order everything on the breakfast menu and then depending on what you want that day you just eat that thing why don't you just order what you for want the, for the rest of your life? Because yeah. you have to have the same thing every day for the rest of your life. Oh, it's his trick. It's like you're asking the genie for a thousand wishes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what? Uh, speaking of that, I mean, that's a, that's a Trevor thing I haven't thought of is Fred 62. He was fucking obsessed with that place. Yeah. He loved to go yeah. to Fred 62. That's the last it's place still- we <laughs> ate together. Yeah. Is it seriously? Wow, man. Last time we hung out, we went to Fred 62 and then walked over to EK. Next time I'm out there, I got I'm gonna go get uh, get some stuff there. I know he liked a salad. He'd get a salad there and like a root beer float or something, right? I'm trying to think. Dude, he Arnold would eat Palmer. like. He, Timmy, order, breakfast like, me. Two different plates. Yeah, and Arnold Palmer's. Okay, what? What, Sam? Chris. Oh no, I was just gonna say that he was obsessed with the rodeo burger at House of Pies. That was a conversation that we had at Fred 62's the last time we hung out. Like awesome. Trevor ate a lot of really shitty food. Like yeah. he did not oh, have yeah. a great palate. Yeah, I've had the rodeo burger since then. I was like, this will. I'll remember Trevor with this. And then I was like, eh, it's not great. <laughs> it's a burger Sorry. with an onion ring and some barbecue sauce on it. Okay. Well, I forgot to close my fridge. All right, Dan, what's your breakfast? Yeah, uh, I know this is like uh, it, it's a shitty answer. It's like, you know, like when you go down, you're at a hotel and you go down for breakfast and they've got a little bit of everything. Yeah. Like that's, that's what I want. Like a little bit of yogurt. I want like the waffle with a little bit of Nutella. I want egg. I, I do like several plates. I make several trips. You want like a that's, continental that's like breakfast. That's my favorite is a little bit of everything. I love what? continental breakfast. You want a mm-hmm. continental breakfast, like at a hotel yeah. where you're making your own yeah. waffle. Well, not a Holiday Inn uh, <laughs> continental breakfast. No. Like uh, no a nice waffle? hotel. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm down for that. Yeah. Oh, they're great. Zach, have you been watching uh, 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 the the impeachment? No, I fell off. There's, there's a funny... Do they show him jizz on her? No, they don't show him jizz That's, on her. Yeah, so what's the point? I know. I want to see Clive Owen jizz on her. Pretending to be Bill Clinton. Oh. Yeah. I want to yeah. see Clive <laughs> Owen pretending to be Bill Clinton, pretending to have an orgasm. <laughs> Very specific <laughs> thing. That's the whole reason. Oh, 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 mine. Yeah, Timmy, take it away. What? Breakfast? Show me your best Bill Clinton jizzing on Monica impression. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> 
Oh, oh, Monica. Yeah. Oh, she's Monica. him off, and he's pretending to play the saxophone. <laughs> pretty, yeah, it does not actually a saxophone. He has a real one. He's just like, oh, baby. That's not really a saxophone. I love my blowjob, Monica. Like, oh, so my God. Weird. He's so weird. <laughs> all right, my breakfast. I'm, I'm old school. This is all the... I, I'm going to French toast. With uh, powdered sugar and strawberries on top, uh, bacon and sausage, and uh, a, a good amount of scrambled eggs with cheese in it, you know, but nicely scrambled. Mm. And uh, coffee, orange juice, milk, and water. And uh, Milk? Like a glass of milk? Hunter Thompson, that shit. Yeah, yeah, you know, like, he always read her about these huge breakfasts he would eat, and that's what I always picture as, like, the best breakfast. I, I don't really read his stuff anymore, but I always, like, that's like a, a breakfast fucking goal anyways uh, i like all that stuff and that's what i make when i'm gonna have like a you know fat guy breakfast or what i call breakfast pretty good pretty good, pretty good. um nice we, did we should watch another <laughs> another video what darren okay i i was gonna say uh and sorry this is like another remembering trevor thing but um all of our writing meetings like trevor would get to a part where, where he's like I got, I got to eat. I got, I got, we got to go eat. Some, I got to eat something like it's been, you know, I don't know how many meals he's missed. And so finally he would eat something and it would be like an entire burrito. And then like, you know, a bunch of fries or whatever yeah. the fuck he ate. And then the next 20 minutes, 30 minutes, he'd be like, Oh yeah, oh, I can't, I can't even, uh, I'm gonna, I gotta go to the bathroom and like yeah. grab Good a newspaper and be in the bathroom like for 30 minutes, like shitting his brain down. <laughs> <laughs> and like every writing meeting that happened. <laughs> oh. yeah. I made a chili once when he and I were roommates. I made this chili. I made it for a bunch of people for Easter and then but Trevor ate it and it was like super spicy. And he like had weird burps for like a couple weeks. Ah, that's what they sounded like. And I'm like, dude, are you doing that on purpose? No, I don't know what happened. I'm like, okay. <laughs> like I don't know if he was just doing the <laughs> Like it was weird, and they like there was no warning. It was just like they just like jumped out of his mouth. <laughs> I got some news. What? So it was my birthday recently, and oh, really? uh, mm -hmm. one of my birthday presents that that uh, Emily got for me was a safety or not a safety deposit box, a uh, a PO box. Oh, so cool. If people want send to send, anonymous shit. send me stuff or you want to send Zach stuff, they can send it to my P.O. box. Oh, can... right. Mm. Ooh. Uh, right. I've loved having one. I've had one for a year now. It's it's fun. You know? So it's uh, the location's 1825 North Vermont Ave, Los Angeles, California, 90027, oh. P.O. box 27464. I think yeah, you got to do you the number. It, yeah. That first address you read was the post office? Yeah, the post office. Okay, I was like, wait, why are you reading street address? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> My birthday is on Tuesday. Oh, yeah. So there. Oh, cool. Happy birthday. I'm, I'm going to have to go open up. a. They don't have P.O. boxes here, I don't think. Yeah. They call it the post, right? The post. The post and my aunt my aunt sent me a box and i had and i have to go pay 24 pounds to receive it what yeah what? And i'm like she like mailed it collect <laughs> yeah right like i mail it is that a London thing or is that your aunt sucks it's like a vat tax thing and then i think she did something wrong like she sent oh. batteries or something inside you're not supposed to do that it just filled with so I gotta go pay 24 pounds to get out of jail. But Darren, wow. how long are you gonna live in London? Well, two years for sure. Two years. But we're o we're open to three. If like, you know, a connection, whatever. Like, you know, we, we really like it here. We want to stay. How old are your daughters? Um, eight and five. So... What the eight-year-old probably won't, but the five-year-old, if you stay, will have a British accent. She already does. What? What? Come on. She already does. I swear to God. She's Lindsay Lohaning you. 
No, she's not. She's not like walking around talking British, but it's like the way that she asks questions now. It it like ends with is like, are we going to the store? You know, like the door. Oh. Like there's always like that door uh-huh. at the end of our question. And so she's starting to like all that stuff is starting to bleed into her, her dictation. That's so weird. You're gonna have a the British older kid. one pretends and then she forgets and she's just like <laughs> messing around. But the younger one, it's like actually developing into her speech. Oh. Does yeah. it fill you with rage? No. What? What the older one does it? Either of them. Yeah, because only I'm allowed to fake the British accent in the house. So the <laughs> older <laughs> one. Now it's cute. It's cute as hell. Love Daddy. <laughs> Daddy. Yeah, someone Daddy asked Darren. Darren. Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig might do Daddy it too. Daddy Darren. <laughs> Daddy Darren. <laughs> wow. Well, um. Somebody says, Sam, please repeat the PO box. It was, it was, I put it in uh, chat. It's pinned in the Discord if you want to go there well, too. Well, say it. Say it out loud. 2604, right? Uh, num- it's P.O. Box hashtag 27464. Uh, and do I have to give the, the, the post office address or just the, the city? The and- P.O. Box. Somebody just did it. 27464, 1825 North Vermont Avenue, Los Angeles, California, 90027. There and is. as far as I know, you just do the P.O. box. That's why you... That's, you just do the P.O. box. That's the appeals. I mean, I mean, when I give out mine, it's just P.O. box, but also I live in the middle of fucking nowhere, and my P.O. box only has three digits, because that's... Do you, but you give out the, the, like, Watertown, South Dakota. You give Dakota. out the P.O. box. Okay, so my P.O. box is... It's P.O. box 326, Watertown, South Dakota, 57201. That's what you said. So yeah. I would guess that if you say that, you'll be fine, because... LA is full of different zip codes, and so the right zip code will get them to the right post office. You know what I mean? So What's the weirdest thing someone sent you? Um, oh, actually, oh, nothing. You know, I don't. You know, that's actually the first I've I've just said it out on the stream. Normally, I don't give it out unless someone messages me. But you know, it's fine. Whatever. <laughs> well, Trevor was always saying, "What if someone goes to your PO box and, like waits there to kill you?" <laughs> it's like, thanks for saying that out loud to people, Trevor. Great, give my ideas. I'd like someone to go to Timmy's P.O. Box, wait there as long as it takes for him to show up to check the P.O. Box and get a candid photo of him that he doesn't even know and then send that photo to me. That would make me happy. Oh this is, I, I got a card and it says, oh. Happy birthday, Sam. Cool. I hope you have a wonderful birthday, Doll Liquor. GFY, Doll Liquor, GFY, a.k.a. M's. Oh, G- Dalliker GFY is is her uh, screen name. Oh, cool. Thank you, M's. Very cool. Guys, we're we have like a thousand fifty people in the room. Nice hey, work. Thousand fifty people. Lou Reed says, Zach, didn't Trevor have a stalker person or someone that said, "I'm going to kill you"? Jokingly, he said it to Trevor. He didn't say it to me. But yes. I guess he missed his shot. Yeah. <laughs> Wherever that guy was when he saw the news, he's like, oh, God. He's yeah. like packing a bag with guns. Oh. Literally, oh. Unloading the guns. <laughs> yeah, well, fuck. <laughs> this was expensive. <laughs> Jeez. Zach, can you tell your dog I love him? Sure. Um, oh, you seen Mangina it? says run an ad. That's a good call. Oh, yeah. Run an ad. You want to do that, Sam? Sure. I don't have the ability for some reason. But while you're doing that, I'll do some more donos. All right. Uh, Higboner donated 10, says just love you all. Thanks, bud. Wombat Ballerina donated 25 says I told my boss I had a Zoom meeting at 7 so I could leave early and watch the stream tonight it's been everything I hoped for so far love you guys so much thank you Wombat Ballerina that's very sweet Seagull vs. Craig donated 5 I don't get that name oh Steven Seagull got it Seagull vs. Craig I think I told Trevor this story on our final Newsboys which by the way Nate if you're here we should just release the final Newsboys we you know if you've cut the things I said out of it let's just release it um but, uh, yeah, one of my actors was a stuntman, and Steven Seagal smashed him in the face during a take and exploded his eyeball. 
<laughs> it was like what? he was like supposed to like miss him, but he like didn't give a shit, and he cracked this dude in the head, and his eyeball exploded. And Steven Seagal never apologized, never acknowledged it. And in an interview, so somebody asked him about it, and he was like, "Eh, that's what those guys are for." Like he totally was like not apologetic or sorry. What a piece of shit. What? Yeah. What the fuck? Wow. Yeah. The Man. guy's name is James. He's super cool, and he was like. I guess he's he sued the studio and he got paid well, but he's like, I'd rather my fucking eyeball back, <laughs> which I get. Yeah, yeah, I get that. Also, you have to sue the studio to get that money too. You have to go through all that to be like, <laughs> yeah. guys, seriously, fucking pay me. How much money? That's not. But a lot, a lot. You know this. This Can you give me stream. A range? Are this we seven figures? <laughs> Is it Six between figures. $2 and a million dollars? This More stream has been okay, like I'll a roller coaster for me because at the beginning of the stream, Steven Seagal was my hero. He was talking about taking people to the blood bank and everything. I loved him. Now, that guy's a jerk. Oh, and did you even get into the whole like accusations of him like keeping women tied up in his basement and shit? And what? Oh, what are you talking about? What? Don't leave. Seagal? Seagal's been accused of some serious shit, man. Are you serious? Yeah, dude, he's like an awful person, like, on record. Yeah. Like, he's probably like, really nice. Sex slave shit, you know? He, like, moved to Russia and hangs out with Putin, and it's because, like, he got driven out of the country by crazy accusations. I might be, you know, I'm just talking right now, but uh, I feel like I know that he had, I don't know, maybe the accusations aren't about the basement thing, but I remember there being something about him, like, holding people and, like, being fucked up and abusive to people, you know? So, I don't know. Eagle Eye 5 says, Seagal uh, absolutely Ricky tied up women. Yeah. <laughs> Someone else says, uh, Seagal lived long enough to become the villain. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people are saying that. Someone says he was holding an assistant hostage. Wow. That's fucked. That's... <laughs> guys, that's that's too much. Plus, too much. Steve, 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 Steve. <laughs> too much. Well, we should that's do a, the Steven Seagal movie night then. Yeah. Wait, the I think we should. Maybe I'm it could be a late night movie for you guys and like early morning movie for me. Yeah, yeah. it'd be super there fun. Was, uh, some of his Are later there any periods, Seagal movies on Prime. That's the question. We should watch Probably. one of the later ones too because he's got some later ones. That oh are, yeah, I think there are some later bananas. ones. There's yeah, there's one like where a he, sniper one. Yeah, that's way too late. But I'm talking about like mid 2000s. <laughs> he was still kind of could move around because he still makes like five films a year. So I mean, yeah. there's like hundreds of them. But, like, in the mid-2000s, he was making straight-to-video films, but he was still, like, kind of trying and could still kind of do action. And, like, that's when, like, the slow-mo... Uh, Guys, there's a bunch. Okay, on Prime, yeah. there's one called Sniper Special Ops, where yeah, he looks do real stupid in the show. <laughs> there's one called A Good Man, where he also looks very dumb. Uh, there's one called Beyond the Law with DMX. Um, oh, you know, we should watch the one where my buddy James got his eye smashed out. It's with Ja Rule. That's all I know. Oh, uh, oh uh, it's a prison bullet, one. What it's the like hell's bulletproof that called? or something, or bullet something. No, bulletproof's the Damon Wayans and Adam Sandler action movie. No, it's it's something like that. Which like, one he did with Ja Rule? Yeah. Someone, someone oh, Cradle of out. the Grave is DMX. Yeah. That's I think what I was thinking in prison about. and Morris Chestnut's a bad guy. What the hell's the name of that movie? A good man is with Ja Rule. Let me see. A good no, man we good. have is that the one? A good yeah. man's not. No, that's it's not a good man. Good man's no, that's, later. Not, that's not the Ja Rule one. Let me look it up. Uh, this I just I saw. Uh, so I just saw a golden chat comment, and it's a uh, uh, chamber senator says Steven Seagal, commander of the Gravy Seals. <laughs> <laughs> I just that really got me. That Love is it. hilarious. The Gravy Seals. It's just People like when are, they called uh, those dudes that took over that park in Oregon, uh, y'all Kata. <laughs> People are saying half past dead. The Al Qaeda. Half just past dead. dead. Sounds it. right. Um, um, out for a kill. I know is one of the like early two thousands ones. So there's one where he. I think it's out for a kill. Actually, it's he has a pen pal who's a little girl in Europe, and she like it starts. He's like reading a letter from her, right? And it's it shows him reading her letter. So it's her voice, 
And then when it cuts to her reading his letter, it's not Steven Seagal's voice. My God, he wouldn't even do it. He wouldn't even do it. I so, wish I'd love it. I wish as a job, Half I could just. That is the one. Thank you, guys. I wish I, for a job, I could just name these movies, in like Bond oh, movies too. Be like, yeah. like, kill to the max. <laughs> dead, dead don't ride. <laughs> it's like Jamie. It's like naming the James Bond films. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. It's like you gotta totally. have dead or die. You gotta have like a period yeah. of time passing, <laughs> time or day or something. You know, tomorrow. <laughs> dead passed yesterday. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Live and kill tomorrow. You know? Yeah, yeah. Kill Wednesday night. We named one of our very very early whitest kid shows when we st- we were still at SVA. Were we gonna put that? What? Because we named every live show we did. There was one that I think we were gonna do, or maybe we did do, that was gonna be like a James Bond title joke because he had the Halle Berry one coming out that year. It was like tomorrow never diamonds dies forever, you know, something like with just every word that they use too much for this. Ooh, I don't remember that. Okay, the one with the orphan like girls a... out of reach, out of reach is the one with the pen pal. Can I show you guys a trailer? Yeah, yeah. this is on. Uh, uh, the YouTube Fiesta. Oh shit! I left the YouTube okay. thing. I'm gonna I'm like, gonna watch this trailer and then I'm gonna have to go just because yeah, it's getting it? late. Twelve thirty there. Yeah, we're coming in on one. Oof, duh. I have to get up early. Yeah. Yeah. Oof, man. Duh. Oof Uh Oof, I yeah. only had I was alone in the room. Let me go back in and try and get in again. All right. So wait. I think Oops. I think we have to go. Wait. Let me see if it works. Yeah, oh, like, yeah. Oh, Timmy's in. Yeah, Timmy's yeah. in. Right. Darren, you want to try it or no? Yeah, yeah, I'm almost there. Go ahead. Right. Hold on. Uh, now I'm out. Hang on, guys. Sorry. <laughs> oh, no. This Fiesta thing's a pain in the fucking ass. It says connected users only me. Hit, hit refresh, see if it... I'll go back in. Just watch it without me. Someone right. says good old quality stream. I know, yeah. this is death. Just watch it without me. This looks great. Oh my god. A new one? Is it him? Hey. Tell me where the town folks went. <laughs> You really gonna sacrifice your wife for a bunch of strangers? Please stop this. The time for heroes is over, John. Remember, you chose this. Your wife was infected, John. She had to die. We cannot let one person be responsible for a million dead people. It's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. We found the cure. He wants to have it. The one controlling the vaccine controls the virus, and the one controlling the virus controls life. Why are you trying to do this? Because I'm the vaccine. It's in my blood. It just brought a lot of problems to my cabin. We're looking for a girl. She's infected. If anyone passed through. Do we have a plan like to stop them? <laughs> I think we can hold enough like until winter. Like a little... <laughs> the beginning of a new era is ready to greet you. The monsters after you, they kill my wife. Get ready. Kill him and get the girl. <laughs> God, this Last video is just ridiculous. Kill me! There's too, it's too much. The movie There's rules. Too much it rules. Yeah, that was just like annoying. Yeah, Sam, I was, I was pretty sure 
You it, it was gonna end with something about be, uh, about COVID, um, <laughs> because those are happening. Did you know that that those are happening? Oh, COVID uh, movies. Me, it's kind yeah, of a dude, COVID let me show movie. You this one. Huh? That's good. It's a it's a sci fi inspired by COVID. Like right, this, this is definitely talking about the post, infection, yeah. post apocalyptic. Um, so, Okay, so there. Okay, I, I I'm gonna do fan art a little bit. I want to show this image real quick in a little bit. Uh, give me a second. I'll save it. Um, it stars. Yeah. Okay. I'll just bring it up here in a second. Okay, there we go. There we go. And you're on Discord, so it might be a little bit different sharing your screen. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It, no, it's just a different uh, button to hit. That's all. Okay, so it stars. Some of you will recognize them, some of you won't, so that's okay. Um, no, I'm not saying screens. Okay, yeah, it makes you do an extra thing. Okay. Um, so it's Kevin Nash. You, get, you guys got it? Okay, it's Kevin yeah. Nash, who was the wrestler, big tall guy in the 90s. He would wrestle a WWE. COVID-19 invasion. I don't know. I saw another friend of mine post this the other day, and they're like, I can't stop thinking about this. And I'm like, that's incredible. So, anyways, that's all I got. But uh, yeah. COVID nineteen invasion. I don't know. I mean, I guess I could look at the plot, but I kind of don't want to. But uh, <laughs> no, no, it's your, not to know. I don't want any spoilers, Zach. You know, yeah, yeah, spoilers. yeah. <laughs> I well, mean, Kevin I Nash. Think I'd watch a movie on this stream. I think that would be super yeah. fun. Yeah, we should we should do that because we've talked about it for a long time. And then they or do trailer boys. Like it'd be it'd be great to do. But you have to do something on Amazon. Yeah. Amazon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Bro, I got a really good, uh, there's a great website slash app for finding stuff that's streaming called Just Watch that I use all the time. So you can just search for Steve oh, yeah, that. oh, that's what you're using? Okay, great. I love that app, man. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, I'm, I'm sure there's some good ones. But yeah, we should do that sometime. I mean, have you it. guys ever seen a movie called A Man on a Swing? No. no, no, it's not Steven. Se it's an actually like really good movie talking about uh, um, Harry Houdini being a skeptic reminded me of it because it's about a a murder and someone trying to to help solve the murder with their clairvoyant powers. But they're like a self proclaimed clairvoyant. It's a 70s movie. It's fucking awesome. Really? Wow. Yeah. I, Man I, on a string. A man on swing? a swing. Man on a swing. Oh, Not a swing. A man on a swing. Man wow. on a swing. Cool. Um, um, I just looked at the plot summary for COVID nineteen invasion starring Kevin Nash. I can't fucking believe this. Rex, Kevin Nash, and his men aim to kill the homeless people living in a local deserted school, hoping it'll slow an ultra deadly strand of COVID. Now, outnumbered one hundred to one, Hap must save his little sister. I don't know who Hap is. I don't know if that's Kevin Nash's character, because they say right there his name's Rex. I don't know who Hap is. But it's literally they have to go in and, and just massacre that's homeless people. And that's on IMDb. It must be vetted at some point, you know? They're I just going to watch go. this movie immediately. Dude, one of the shots. Yeah. Maybe he ends up being. Look, there's a, there's a shot here of him standing in front of a Confederate flag. So maybe they're like, okay, maybe this movie has some politics that are going to upset a lot of it's people. Like, oh, What's the name of this movie? Uh, COVID nineteen colon invasion. Uh, maybe he ends up being like not cool, you know? Because uh, there's a picture right now of him standing in front of the Confederate flag, and then it says they're going to kill homeless people. Then another production photo is a close up of a rifle barrel in a homeless person's face. Wow. <laughs> okay. How'd you That's know they were homeless? Open all the COVID, all the COVID movies would turn out to be just, just like to kill this. homeless people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> huh. I'm not seeing anything on Prime beyond the law. Trailer, it's not on Prime, but we could watch a trailer for what? Yeah, COVID nineteen invasion for COVID nineteen invasion. Okay, I was looking at uh, Seagal stuff, and there's not much on Prime. Bye, Shadow guys, Man, hop. that might be a good one. I think Peace I've seen out. that one. Oh, right, bye, Darren. Gonna hop off. Boys. Should we do? Uh, everybody, uh, good to see you, man. Everybody, should we do? I'll fart? text you about the the movie movie night. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. Be great to figure that right. out. Love you guys. Later, Duranius. Timmy, you got fart? What? Fan art? Oh, yeah. Like, do I have to fart? Probably. You got um, fart. Okay, yeah, this is... Uh, oh, but we're going to start hot off the presses here. So, okay, let's do fan art.
Someone wants me to. Uh... So does this when I do this, Sam, does it take up the whole screen? Do the or screen share and, and our windows will be uh, on the side. The, what you just did was perfect. OK, cool. All right. Do that. Doing that again. OK, so uh, boner honk farts. Uh, these go alphabetical by artists. So starting hot out the gate here. Ooh, the shining. Cool. The shining boinga or <laughs> implied boinga. She called it. That's, so that's awesome. That's, that's incredible. <laughs> I can look that's at that for a while. Uh, yeah, that's, that's special. Christmas 54321. Uh, this must be at a children's museum. It looks like it's at a children's museum. Or no, Ripley's Believe It or Not, it looks like it says Ripley's above it. But, anyways, they wrote Jism from that sketch where Trevor um, spells it out for Jim, you know? Oh, that that's big. That yeah, it's big. Dude, and it looks to me like at a children's museum. Christmas 54321, if you're around, that's from Reddit. If you're watching, please let us know more. Uh, then we got lots of co- a couple costumes. I got to find more. Oh, There's. Yeah, so here's Gardala Benny in her uh, Trevor as the Devil costume, and here's 60 Mac 9 as uh, Trevor's Saturday, Saturday character. Saturday, yeah. Yeah, pretty perfect character wow. uh, costume. Both of them. Yeah. Um, that's all I had for that. Cyrus Smith, so it said their title on this was One Day, dot, 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 and apparently this is when I self-suck, and there's Trevor as a force ghost, and I think that's supposed to be Zach with a huge boner? It's is maybe it's because you have a natural twenty. Is what you're talking about? Probably, probably. And you're aroused. <laughs> yeah, 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 and Sam's sure. shirtless. Oh, I'm shirtless. What's on I your was... nipples? Those are his nipples. I thought those were pockets. I think those are just <laughs> big like nipples. His... But it looks like he has a hairy stomach, though. So you know, I don't know. And the Darren's just like kind of just in a daze about the whole thing. I don't know. Um, I got. Cyrus I got Smith those... also wrote this one. Or drew this one. This was a uh, Sam characters, and they drew these on Sam's birthday. All right. Well, I mean, like my nipples are regular in this one. Yeah. So I don't know what the other one is. Maybe they're in the chat and can tell us more. <laughs> um, okay. So what are the Sam characters here? We got the Alcoholics Anonymous guy. We got the Grapist. And is that the uh, gun. nail gun kid? Okay. Nail gun. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then the the kid uh, the the kid dressed up as a cowboy for Halloween Halloweeners. Uh, okay. Oh, and, and then, then that's, that's you uh, the Civil Genghis War. Khan, but sure. <laughs> and then and, and then, then the, the Civil, Civil War, War on drugs. Civil War on drugs. Yeah. The right. Peyote thing. Thank you. I'm worried uh, about no, that person who drew those pictures. <laughs> Don't new cat did this the stickers which is I mean now those aren't even as full as the real PCP meter so go us yeah. uh, look at us look at that um awesome. thank you Donut cat those are stickers they made those are pretty dope stickers um drummer barber did this this is Sam and Zach as uh Bobo <laughs> yeah, and dude. Hyphen on uh, the God of War characters uh, I've never looked that good in my life that's Just right do it. <laughs> Sam it looks like that a lot <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah those, I'm those are getting that haircut. Did I miss one from them? Oh, I think I missed one from them. Okay. And then, oh, no, there we go. And there's the other one. They drew this as Sam. Ooh. They said, they're like, I just drew this when I was bored at work. It's like, whoa. Like, whoa. Cool. Yeah, that's yeah, good that's art of Sam awesome. looking very hot. Um, they're looking hella fun. Here's a... Sex Robot jack lantern That's awesome. Yeah. No, no not even Sex uh, Robot. They, uh, computer that, oh, yeah, that computer self-aware. Uh, they're, yeah, their caption with this says, my pumpkin just became self-aware. So. Right, right, right. Um, it's great though. Uh, Lonely cartoonist. This is a while ago, but I don't know if we posted it. So this is a drawing of how apparently Futt says at some point he wanted to kill God, and I was God technically cause being the dungeon master. So this is a picture of him fighting God. It's kind of a cool. It's a badass drawing. It's like um, Galactus, right? Or- yeah, dude. Very very Kirby, very Jack Kirby inspired. And then here's another one from Lonely cartoonist. Uh, so this is like Bobo fighting. Uh, the Grapist, there's a dead hippo. There's a lot of references going Zombies. on here. Zombies. Yeah. I'm fighting Grinches, I think. There's Is some Grinches, the, the possibly. Grinch? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and there's eyes in the back. Um, uh, Meg, oh, had this. So she wrote this hat, goodbye. And she embroidered this hat. The other one says rationality. <laughs> and that's, that's oh, for the God, period. It's redder that's and the redder. period sketch, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's great. Goodbye, rationality. Yeah, Goodbye. that's pretty awesome. And I like this. It's a pretty simple idea to make something cool. I've never thought about that. Like, yeah, just embroider a hat. You can do that. Um, yeah, that was one of the very few sketches where Trevor played a woman. Yeah, not very often. Uh, yeah, this very is the rare. sketch I've never seen referenced before. But uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. So Meg also did this one. Pretty cool. 
Deep cut. What is that sketch? Is that called SpaghettiOs? Yep. Yeah. Okay. I don't really remember it. I remember just, that's where that's the first time we we used. I gotta take a shit. I, I don't want to be a I don't want to be a jerk, but that's a some creative uh, spelling of uh oh, right? Uh oh, yeah, it may be. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, yeah. Uh oh, yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, man, think, yeah, think yeah. about how many different ways people spell whoa. You know, it's like those uh. The automa- is it automatopias? Whatever the word is for that, those words, you know, there's a lot of leeway. Uh, okay, so M. Woody Bekinski, so yeah. this, they went into a, see, a, like a computer, an AI generated drawing, and I don't know what they did, but it made this, and they're like, holy shit, it kind of looks like Timmy. It so does look that. like you. I thought they'd like started with your face. Right? Yeah, it looks a lot but like But it's a like really skinny- attached girlfriend? Yeah. <laughs> and Which is funny, because like, I'm also like, uh, yeah, that's me. Overly attached sometimes, sure. It's like you as the Joker. Yeah, totally. I can <laughs> yeah. see that. Uh, Nicodemus with... Uh, okay, this is cool. So this is called The Book of the Internet, uh, which it was is a F- Buckerson reference. And then, I don't know if they... It looks like they really made this. I don't know. But then you open it up, and it says, Raw Dog, finish on a butt. It's got, like, his vape in it that looked like a wand, you know? Like... I don't know. That's pretty dope, though. Whoa. It was Raw Dog and Finish on a Butt from the... I don't know what that's from. I don't, I don't know. Got, I feel like that has to be uh, um, Buckerson and Myers, right? That's what I'm saying. That's what I yeah. thought. Okay. I don't remember. That's your watch me. I, I don't, wait, let's see if chat says anything. Oh, yeah. I'm sh- yeah, they're, they're the experts on this kind of thing. What do you guys got? I, that, I, I don't know if anyone knows. 24-hour special. Oh, it must have been from his show, the Trevor oh. Okay, that's from the Trevor Thon. Okay, all right, well, moving on. Okay. Um, so, uh, Nightbulb did this. <laughs> Just a bad joke, but I loved it. So, <laughs> oh, yeah, very sad, but I, I, yeah. Trevor would enjoy it. Uh, thank you, Nightbulb. Um, know it flipped over. Did this little uh, kind of tattoo looking? Yeah, hey, have fun. Stay cool. <laughs> I like it. And the Eagles got the diamond. Um, OU Eagle. I, maybe we've shown this before, but they got that's that real? Newsboys tattoo. Yeah, that's real. Oh my god, um, Newsboys yeah, so that's tattoo. Cool. That's awesome. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah, it's a good tattoo because wow. I've seen the drawing, but I think this is new that they did this. That's amazing, man. Yeah. Again, I don't want to be a jerk. I don't want to point out things, but uh, it's funny that they they know Newsboys, but they also think we go by the acronym WKYK. Even though the the <laughs> site's official WKUK is you are you are for sure being a jerk. I, am I okay? All right, all right. All right. Uh, here's I'm just saying it's official brand. WKUK in the Twitch, so is that I assume they've been to the and the the YouTube. That was a tattoo typo. I think it still works, and I still who's appreciate. The, who's, it. This? who's the who's the user? I still appreciate uh, OU Eagle on Reddit. You in here? Oh, you eagle! You gotta be in here. The people are saying he's getting it fixed. <laughs> no, 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 don't fix it. It's awesome. Don't fix it. I love it, dude. Here's the thing: is anyone go back to it, Timmy? Go back to it. Yeah. yeah, anyone that's gonna know it is gonna know it either way, and that rules. Yeah. You know, it's like your secret little sign. You know, when you're out in the world, to people. I, I, I really don't get that fixed. They can't. First of all, they can. <laughs> It's not you can't the kerny is too too tight you can't but also it's rad it's rad I I'm a great fan I I, I, like I really it. like the idea that oh one my God, day one of you fucking yes, same. Uh-huh. What, one day that one of you fucking doll lickers is gonna see this tattoo and be like oh you're not a real fan <laughs> oh don't do that <laughs> it says W K Y K your newsboy's tattoo wow. says you WKYK. Are- not a real fan. I'm a, I'm a newsboy, and I think it's fucking awesome. So. No, I you know. know, I, I, know. I, I agree with Zach, but also that brings up an interesting question, what Sam just said. Does the whitest kid's fandom have, like, gatekeepers? You know how there's those yes, guys that like, sure. you don't really like Zelda unless you know, you know. You're saying we do? Yeah. Yeah? I think, that, yeah. Yeah, it's like, Sam. You're not a, you're not a real white <laughs> no, no, fan. Sam's you know, the gatekeeper. <laughs> No, you the, the, not a real white kids fan unless you were in a unless you know what country they were in in Manatee Finger Bang. 
Which I don't even know if that's an answer. But this whole Twitch channel channel was built on gatekeepers by having the whole doll liquor and go fuck yourself true. thing. That's true. That's Holy true. shit, you're that right. Was that was stream one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, you're right. I can't wait for Mars to come out because the whole thing about doll liquors is going to get clarified when Mars comes out. And that right. is, I'm so excited for that. It's going to be funny. Uh, it's going to be good. I, I'm, I'm curious to see what happens to the fan community using doll liquors after the movie comes out. So. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So moving on, this is just a meme. Someone made bad like that. Always check your child's Halloween candy for deceased comedian Trevor Moore. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, stay at home. Joe quick sketch. Uh, what is this? My gym class. That's just a great drawing of Sam, like very stylized and different. I really love it. Which that's a, a line from the Trevor Moore show. Oh, uh, Okay. They were talking about... Oh, connect um, you with your laptop and your mug? Sure, okay. Yeah, they were talking about uh, Nexium, I think it was. What's the cult that they uh, yeah. played it, it, volleyball it, 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 and s- they played volleyball and made them suck their dicks? Yeah, and I Nexium. said, what is this? My gym class? <laughs> That's the context of I that joke. Watch that episode, yeah. Um, here's Taper Backrider, which A is a great screen name because it's Taper as in like the anteater kind of creature. So Taper Backrider. Uh, and this is their, their Road to Hotown uh, poster that would kind of match Sam's uh, um, Leone style uh, trailer they made. Oh, dig that. They gave me a hat. I really like that. No, no, no. You um, wore that hat. I did. Oh, that's the witch hat that I wore. That big, silly <laughs> the gardening like, gardener hat. hat that I wore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Is it, really, it was supposed to be like uh, from Jodorowsky's Holy Mountain. Not really. I'm just kidding. Um, so, okay. So, there's a note that goes with this one that I need to fetch out here. Uh, okay. So, Tribbles, Tribbles posted this. What I'm looking at. And, uh, <laughs> what? Hold on. Yeah. Th- there's a note. Yeah, this there's is a, cuckoo. Uh, it's cuckoo. But hold on. Let me get the note up. Okay. It says... So Tribbles Tribbles posts this on our Reddit and says, uh, I stumbled upon two slain owl bears in the forest. It didn't seem right to leave them that way. Ah. So here's picture two. He arranged them. Oh, wait, them. they did it backwards. They did it backwards. Fuck. Anyways, he found them this way. It didn't seem right to leave them this way. So. Love it. Yeah. Love so it. then uh, there's more. Hold on. But my computer's being stupid. Uh, oh god, I'm hitting the wrong buttons. I'm such a fucking. We'll go back to dead of the internet. Okay, I stumbled upon two slain owl bears in the forest. It didn't seem seem right to leave them that way, so I made it look like they were humping. Happy anniversary, boys. Hope Trevor would approve. He definitely would because he loved that kind of shit. There you go. Um, so there they are, fucking kind of animated. There we go. Okay. Uh, good job, Tribbles. Tribbles. Sorry, I didn't stick the landing. And that's the last one. So there's also some videos and songs and stuff I didn't get to. Uh, we'll we'll do that. Sometime soon. Wait, do you guys want to do another one of these sometime soon? Yeah. 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 Can yeah. I stop sharing the screen? Yeah. Yeah. Stop yeah. Sharing the screen. Okay, yeah. Um. Yeah. I'm. I'm. I'm definitely down. It, it's tough. You know. It's like. Uh, it's hard to do these. I feel like it is still hard. I agree. Well, I. You know. It's still. Still. Tender. Um, yeah, man. I mean, it's you know. It's only three months is not long, uh, you know. Uh, I was gonna do a Zucchini Boys on Thursday before Halloween, and I just, you know, I was gonna. Well, I was gonna try and carve a jack lantern of him, and that was a terrible idea. Once I started trying to do it, I'm like, oh, I can't do this. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, it's just that's hard. But I'll get there. Zucchini Boys, definitely Zucchini Boys. For people do ask me, once we get into holiday cookie season, I'm fucking on. Like no matter what, I'm gonna do it because cookies are fucking important. You know, so. And that yeah. was those are arguably the best Zucchini Boys episodes were the four or five uh, ho- holiday cookie ones, you know. So it's a, it's a really good all Timmy new cookies, quote. all new sadness. It's gonna be great. Yeah, cookies are important, Timmy Williams. <laughs> Dude, I mean, uh, honestly, I, do it. That's fine. You I, have do my wanna, permission. I do want to do some Collective Souls. It's funny. I was playing Bloodborne the other day, and I was just getting my ass fucking handed to me, and I was like, this would be fun. Uh, to have people sharing this experience with me. Um, so I'll, I'll do that. My life is going to get a lot simpler in the coming weeks. It's just been insane all year, but like, so I will be back. I will, I will do collective souls. I'm, I'm going to keep doing streams. I've been like popping in a lot lately. I've got time and stuff. And, uh, um, uh, I'll, I'll keep you guys in the loop of when I'm popping in and stuff and feel free to join me whenever, you know, as you know, you were, 
Shortly after, Trevor, you were texting me, asking me to play Fortnite, even not on the stream, and I was like, keep asking me. And I mean that. Like, keep doing it. One of these days, I'll fucking... The stars will align. I'll play it with you. We'll play it online. We did it once. That was fun. You know, so... Oh, Zach, I got a... Uh, Griffin and I played some Warzone off stream today and got a 23 kill w win. Are you fucking uh, kidding 20 me? Duos, 23 kills, yeah. How many did you get? Six. I think there are seven. Seriously, dude, that's it was, fucking awesome. Um, it was good. Cool. That's really wow. good. For that? Did you record it, was, it? I would actually love to watch wow. that. We uh, we have clips. We don't have the whole thing. I have some some good oh, clips. Man. I have you know I have a a YouTube channel that's just mine. And and Chad, don't even ask me for this because I'm not gonna give it to you. <laughs> but where my brother and I. I uploaded to it all of my Warzone wins that like I guess I think there's one with you and me and Griffin but it's a bunch of me and my yeah. brother just because it's so fucking fun to go back like um, you know after you forgot about the game and like watch it <laughs> nerdiest thing in the world but I really enjoy it it's really fun we had the, one of the um, most gratifying kills which is I saw a guy dropping in onto the roof of the hospital and from like the hill, I sniped him right before he hit the ground. And then we waited a second. And like once we waited a second, we air striked the, the roof and we got both the guys on the team. Jeez. We gave him like a second to try and revive and like kind of like tempted them with the revive. He's going to try and find my fucking channel. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, yeah. yeah. It's oh, no. Oh. You I guys, mean, there is a. Uh, so. There is a Steven Seagal movie that is on Prime called Ticker, and it like also has... Huh? There's a ton on Prime. I know, but listen to this one. Let me finish. Okay. So there's a okay. Steven Seagal movie on Prime uh, called Ticker, also starring Dennis Hopper and Tom Sizemore and Jamie Presley. Ooh. I think uh, that sounds like... Pre an ice tea's in it! And not! Nice. That ball. sounds like a good oh, cast. Wow. I wow. kind of wonder how much Seagal is going to be in it, but it's like one here. of those well, movies. Like sometimes you see a movie where it's like no actual stars in the movie, where it's like like no one famous right. famous enough to like open a movie at, at the current right. day is is in it. Right. Well, it's it all, looks like the main character parts. is Tom Sizemore, but yeah, yeah. I don't know. Should we read some more donos and then split, or what do you guys what do you guys want to do? Um, yeah, I gotta go. Yeah, okay. Uh, hold on and hang on. Donate 10 bucks to Zach and Sam. Expect cookies. Oh, because now you have a P.O. box. She sends cookies. Yeah. She does that. So that get ready for that. Nice. Mm. Dude, she runs a bakery. Like, she's legit. Her cookies nice. are... Please. I, I love cookies. Please. There you go. Uh, yeah, Seagull. As, as I think Timmy said, Seagull, but... cookies are important. Huh? I, they are. The Gold versus Kreger donated five bucks. Uh, Wombat Ballerina donated twenty five. Says I told my boss I had a Zoom meeting at seven so I could leave early and watch the stream tonight, and it's been everything I hoped for. Well, if Flowers eighteen just went off with gifts. Flowers just you. dropped. Flowers, some thank memes. you so much. Oh my god. Holy shit. Uh, Poop Jack donated. Oh, you got that one. Okay. And then Big Boner donated ten bucks. Said just love y'all. Thank you very much. Thanks for all the donations tonight, everybody. Holy mm -hmm. shit. Uh, does it's, someone uh, have a suggestion? The turntable. Send it. Suggestion for us to raid. Oh man, I haven't thought had to think about this. Is, do, does Steven Seagal have a Twitch channel? Uh, Andy Milanakis is on right now. Oh, we could raid Andy. Him. Uh, let's do uh, let's do Bloodborne together, man. I need help, big time. Oh, there you go. I've never. I don't think I've ever actually beat Bloodborne. I'm embarrassed to say. I think I think I've never beat it. I also don't think I've beat Sekiro. So like, there's lots for me to do. I can't even like imagine myself beating any from software games so you're ahead of me at least Rage you, can beat, you can beat demon souls it's easy okay yeah all right love you dudes love you chat thank you guys so much this was fun appreciate yes. it i'm glad we did it adios yes guys. see you later i'm about to here okay raid somebody Sam, did cool. you raid yet are we raiding andy or what are we doing uh no i'm raiding zet wilder Who's that? Uh, I don't know. Someone so just said it in chat. chat. So enjoy Zet Wilder. Cool. There's someone just said it in chat, and we're Ooh, jumping in blind. That's great. If they suck, oh, I love we, that. Don't, we don't su support them at all. I just, just the name I saw it in raid. Right. 
In case they're like punching babies in the dick or something. Yeah. So I mean, I here we are. Ratings that. at Wilder. All right. All right, everybody. Be good. Be nice. Love you. Bye, Sammy. Do, do, do.